You know, Brennan, um, we joke around a lot when we talk about on it. I mean, I, I do, I do the whale, a lot of whale I, stuff, I do a lot of sergeant. I do yeah, the, I know, a lot uh, of drill private. sergeant. You know, yeah, please stop. stop, please stop. At the end of the day, you got to get serious about certain things. Serious about your body. You got to get serious about your body. You got to well, get serious about your performance. Well, it's 2016. There's a lot of resolutions everybody made. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, how many people said, I want to optimize my performance? A lot of guys Everyone. Like, I want a regular performance. You know, how many people say, I want a regular performance? I want to be just okay. Not us here at the Fighter and the Kid, huh, Brennan? No. We want to optimize things. Not we? our listeners either. We just want to give you the best. Well, we, we want go, you to achieve those fitness goals. We do. Because most people don't. Most, most people, people don't. by the time January 20. First rolls around, yeah. you're out of it. Yeah. But on it kind of represents a lifestyle, doesn't it? The Onnit Academy, Onnit.com. Mm. You can go there and you can you can basically meet all your fitness needs, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. You're right, Brian. I mean if you need When you're right, you, you're right. Well, if you need functional strength equipment, mm -hmm. I mean if you're into functioning strong, which I am, if you're into living hard, which I am, and I know you are. Or if you're bored to tear tears with your workout and you need something new i was gonna say that's why i go there. go ahead and get yourself I'm so bored yeah go ahead and get yourself a, i don't know a chimp bell or a gorilla bell or yeah. maybe a or cyclops bell a spartan 300 workout on there <gasps> they have all sorts of different workout ideas answers and then, to your questions everything man if you want to break down your body you want to build it back up with the best supplements on planet earth well that's easy on it.com slash fighter and guess what 10 percent off Jeez, what Yes. What are you, Santa Claus? I thought Christmas was over, man. It is. I'm like the fitness Santa Claus. What? I'm like the fitness tooth fairy. You're like a fitness Jesus. You keep giving. Yeah, when you go to sleep, I just slip it right under your pillow 10%. Ladies off. and gentlemen, meet the muscular Jesus oh, over you're, here. You're 10 off. You're sleeping? Here, 10% off. Wow. Dot com slash wow. Sprinkle a little, uh, I don't know. Nootropic in their mouth, maybe. Ah. Uh, maybe some uh, go to sleep, oh. antioxidant go to sleep, powder. Oh. Go to what? <laughs> no, what? Well, go to sleep. Ho, ho, ho. Well, you said ho. Well, I know, but that, no, well, I went to say ho, ho, ho. Man. Go to sleep, ho. Go to sleep. Ho, ho, ho. It's funny how when, when you're talking to a girl and the girl goes, no, you would never want a pair. She's a total skanker and a total whore. She's fucked all my friends. All of a sudden, you're like, bring her over here. Let me see what's going on. Maybe I can help her with her esteem. Issue. Hey, man, I guess. Definitely can't be in the Onnit read though. Oh, sorry, I guess we man. moved on. You're the one who uh, brought up Ho. No, not really. Yeah, Onnit.com slash writer, ten percent off. Sorry, Aubrey. Sorry, so bud. Sorry, Aubrey. Um by the way, that name, Aubrey, come on. It's a cute name. Oh, I like that name. I know a girl named Aubrey. You, hey, it's hey, made fun hey, of hey, me. Hey, hey, Aubrey, you got a girl's name. Hey. <laughs> Burn, I burned it. Hold him. your son's name's Finn. Finn's a an Irish warrior's name. You know what Finn means in Gaelic? Do you Dolphin. know what it means? Dolphin no, Finn. it means the Triangular pointy thing that juts from a shark's back. That makes sense. <laughs> Finn. I don't mind Aubrey. Yeah, you don't hear that name much. Yeah, why don't you kiss his ass more? <laughs> hey, uh, he's, in, he's in town, right? He's in LA. He was on Rogan today, I think. Yeah, we should we should uh, have I text with him. him a couple days ago. Yeah, he's good. Uh, we he's should have dinner Malibu. with him, but oh I hope it can't be this week because uh oh yeah, we'll be in uh Seattle and Portland and and Frisco. Frisco. And, and Vegas, Vegas, and San Diego. And by the way, I think we're sold out almost all the way across the board. I'm very impressed. We're damn near. Damn near. Port Portland, Seattle are the only ones I think with a few tickets. And Vegas, they like to keep it late. Ve we had a real surge going. I on I think Vegas. San Diego sold out. Am I right? Mm -hmm. damn, Correct. House of Blues LA, sold out. San Diego, out. Sacramento. Had some good times down there. San Fran, New Year's. San Diego. Yeah. Oh yeah. New how was your New Year's? New Year's was very good. New Year's was very good. I performed. Had a great time. And. Um, I don't know. New Year's is always a little overrated, though. New Year's does nothing for me. Like, I'm not the guy that waits to set date a goal the same t time everyone else does. Does that yeah. make sense? Like, yeah. I'm not going to be like, oh, fuck, it's, it's October. Well, I'll start this diet January well, 1st. Well, people who quit smoking do that. I love that when they're like, no, nah, I'm going to quit. I'm giving myself a month. And then, you know, it's like, my birthday's in. I'm like, all right, dude. It's weird. You're man. definitely not quitting. So I, yeah, I've, I've never been that guy. You, this is the first year in... God, I don't know how long I didn't work out on to bring the New Year's in. But that's weird when people like set a month. They're like, I'm not going to do anything right now, but in a month, I'm going to start. Like, it's a whenever I hear that, it's a, bad way a part think. of me dies. I'm always like, it's a bad way to think. Oh, I'm then let me throw this out there real quick because this is the New Year's. If you had a New Year's resolution not to be a tool, and then you go on another grown man's Instagram and, make, and comment on his hair, ah, oh, man, I know it's a New Year, it's 2016. You're still a loser. I hate go now. Right now, if you're like, did I do that? 
Go to Brendan Schaub's Instagram account. But they account. might be trying to be funny. You know. I know what's going on. So then you go to your Instagram account. You're like, God, did I comment on another man's hair? I did. God damn it. Already. 2016, well, I'm another loser. I got a lot of I got a lot of heat for not making fun of your hair. But for me, at the end of the day, it, it's not that funny, right? Like, even if you came in with shitty hair and I was like, your hair is white. Uh, hey, what's going on, Grandpa? All right, so the jokes kind of... What are we going to do? It doesn't really All go. Right. Like, I don't like those kind of jokes. Like, I, I get tired of them, like, just to make... Like, you made a choice to try to look cool, and you... Well, not, no, no, no. Whatever That's the thing. Not even look cool. I just want to dye my hair, and I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. But you and Rogan making fun of my hair is like, like Amy Winehouse telling me I have a drinking problem. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. What? Yeah, exactly. No, fuck. That's like Ray Charles making fun of my eyes. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay, man. Exactly. Hey, wait, what are you guys going to do? But even if I had good hair, at the end of the day, it's like kind of like, you know your friend, you'd wear a shirt, and your friend would be like, dude, how long have you been taking in the ass? Yeah. That shirt. You're One like, time All right, it's dude. Good. Then what are you going to do? I get it has an extra pocket, or my jeans are a little designer. My, you guys have weird reactions like that. I had a coat, and it wasn't even that it was made by Agnes B, which is a French company, but it was cool. And that's all it was. It was just a cool coat with sure. bigger buttons than normal. I swear to God, all it had... Big it buttons? A, it was a really they nice... they stick out. It was a nice cut with the buttons were a little bigger than normal. That's all it was, but it worked with the coat. And it cost me probably a lot more than any other coat. It cost me a lot. Sure. But I was in New York, and I'm strutting. And, well by the way, and by the way, I'm catching, I'm catching looks. Girls are going, that guy's well-dressed. And my buddy Robbie, is, he's walking with me, and he just goes, he's, a, he's an athlete, and he's just a regular just dude. And he looks at me, and he goes, that's a stupid fucking coat. <laughs> but that's it, right? He got mad at me for no reason. He goes, I go, why? He goes, it's a fucking it's a fancy fucking coat. You know, he just had to say something he couldn't take. That's how guys do it. Meanwhile, man. he's wearing, like, you know, a fleece. I'll tell you what, man. If you, if, you have, if you dye your hair and you're a grown man, you're either Brandon sucking Shaw. a ton of dick. Yeah. You are either just caught crazy for dick. Yeah. Or you're banging a lot of girls. There's no in between. Yeah. There's no just down the middle. You're either two spectrum. Well, when what age can you no longer do that to your hair? Like I certainly at 48 cannot dye my hair, and it's blue now, by the way. Well, well dude, yeah. So I was. Uh, thank you for bringing that up, Brian. Yeah. I would love to stop talking about my hair, but uh, so when I got it silver, it was silver for like two days. Yeah. Then I go to the beach. I'm around the beach. I go in the water. And I'm in the sun. And then I took a picture. I'm like, dude, my hair is turning straight. It was like blonde. It's turning it's blonde. Like ivory white. But then it was getting like white, white, like old man white, like straight white. I'm like, oh, shit, this isn't good. So then we went to Frank Grillo's. We'll get into that. But went to your buddy Frank Grillo's house. Uh, I asked my girl, I'm like, is my hair weird looking? She's like, it's like, like you're like a toe head, like, you know, like super blonde, like crazy blonde. It's like, oh, no bueno. So then I text the hair guy and he's like yeah come in for whatever reason my hair had a weird i like the blue more it's a blue gray yeah it's a blue gray yeah mix it up man i like it better mix it up just for the west coast or shorten you up too, tighten you up a little bit too they tighten me up a little he took a little bit too much off the top kind of bothered me i like it nah, i like it a little longer so you yeah. can style it. it took a little bit off the top anyways enough about my hair uh yeah how was your weekend, buddy? Besides, we'll get into Frank Grill and stuff. I had a good weekend. I went to an interesting get together last night at the wonderful and beautiful Courtney Cox house. I'm gonna drop. How a does she I'm, look? Gonna dro I'm gonna drop a bunch of names right now because it was one of those nights. Uh, she looks fantastic. She's I think she's 50 or something, and she couldn't look better. She her, look her, better. her in the longest yard. She is a smoke show. She's still a smoke 2000. show. She, and she's also Who's her man. Uh, she's dating a friend of mine right now. She's dating somebody. And uh, I don't know if I can sure say out loud because I don't, I don't want to be all TMZ and gossipy, but um, I'll tell you later. But bottom line is she's, uh, she's um, a cool girl. Like, she's such a cool person. Like, she's just a funny, good person, you know? That's cool. What and, was the party for? Well, I got invited to this get-together. It was just a get-together in the party. It was like a Sunday kind of get-together. Mm. And I get there. My boy Will Arnett's there. You, our, our friend Love Will Arnett, the yeah. greatest. Jason Bateman, who I hadn't seen in a long time. Who's, from American Pie? Yep, friend friend of mine from back, well, and every other movie, right? You know Jason Bateman? Oh, no, I'm thinking of uh, fucking, I think it's Jason Biggs or something like no, that. No, Jason Bateman. Yeah, I know Jason Bateman. Jason Bateman, yes. yeah, he's yeah, he's been in a shitload of And the stuff. funniest dude in the world, you'd love him. He's going to come on the podcast. We're going right. to get him on the podcast because he's the best. And and so I'm, I'm with, I'm basically, those are my, you know, playmates. I'm with Jason Bateman and Will Arnett. 
we're looking at the ocean. Courtney's house is, if you think money doesn't buy you happiness. You keep saying this. I'm about to shoot myself. Go look at the house. Courtney has money. She's a big house. She's it's rich. It's not just that. Some people, well, no. Some she people, lives on Malibu. Some people can, ha can have taste. See, money doesn't buy you taste. Some people have the ability to create a space where you go, hmm, I don't really want to leave here. I kind of want to stay here forever. Like, it's mm. almost like my wife went, well, if I lived here, I don't think I'd ever leave. Like, I, you, you have everything you, you need. You would for sure. Yeah, but yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. And uh, I'm into that stuff. I just, uh, maybe I'm getting older and I'm. I'm, I'm into it too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've seen a million big houses. I've seen but, rich people. But the, fi the, the finer things, like, you know, some people, like, it's not, it's not gaudy. It's understated, but it's, everything is really nice. So, so we're just hanging out there. And then um, I'm, I'm dropping names here because uh, it was just interesting. But Prince Harry's there. Uh, you know, the guy yeah, with yeah. the red hair. Yeah, yeah. Which, again... He's a party animal. He's a party animal. A great guy. And I kept wondering, why is this dude who grew up as royalty... Like, he's hanging with me and Will and, and, and Jason, and we're laughing. And I'm like, this guy's cracking me up, and he's a macho dude. He's kind of a big guy, kind of a, 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 a robust kind of guy, you know? He looks like an athlete, and he's... And he's making fun of his fucking red skin and yeah. his hair and all that. But he's good looking, kind of a kind of a guy's guy. And I'm like, why is this guy? And I say to Will, I go, what the fuck is the guy so funny for? And it turns out, well, he was in the military for 10 years. And he legitimately flew combat missions and helicopter yeah. missions in Afghanistan. So he's been a guy who's actually in it. Mm -hmm. And and when I think when you're in the military for that long, for 10 years, you don't get away with bullshit. You have to be a man. You have to mm -hmm. be a guy. So so it was it was a nice surprise to hang out with him. And here's the here's the here's the funny story. So I'm hanging out, we're out laughing, I'm with these fucking famous people and blah blah blah. Got it. Taylor Swift comes in. Taylor Swift with a with the with a group of girls who are in a band called Hein Haim. They're so good. Long story short, Did I realize they came with their guitars and they shit. They come with their guitars. I realize That's intense. I realize that they're gonna be they're gonna be singing for us. They're just gonna get together. There's about fifteen of us and Taylor Swift and Haim and I think the lead singer of Incubus was there. I don't know. I don't know what he looks like, but apparently he didn't want to sing. But bottom line is, I went. I went. Oh, they're going to start singing. And this is when you know you have, you have children. This is when you know you have children. My daughter got for Christmas seven Taylor Swift CDs because she's a freak. I call my wife. I go get an Uber and a babysitter right now. You're coming because I want you to be witness to. I want to watch Taylor Swift sing so that we can tell our daughter. That we hung out with Taylor Swift. That's lit I don't know her music. I don't fucking you know please. Mm -hmm. But that's when you know you have kids. That's what kids do to you. You have your wife come down for a half hour to come so you guys can experience Taylor Swift in that setting and then go tell your daughter. And that was the whole great thing about. You know the whole what I night. took from this? What you bought your daughter CDs? Did that's you get it. her a Nintendo glove too? I did not. I did, did you get not. her a pager? I was gonna say it's funny, right? CDs. CDs? I know. What the fuck? I know. Where do you even buy I a thought of CD that. player? Wait, but it was something for her to open. She's got a CD player. It's something for her to open when it's, when a kid has. Where do you get that, them at, you get CDs at Target. Uh, like the or do they sell them at Best? Is there still all CDs at Best Buy? I don't know. So so I I say to I say, I'm talking. I don't to, mean to switch I'm, things up. That's why I'm, I'm like, holy shit, what do you get? CDs? Well, it's funny because I'm talking. To, I'm having this little. We're, everybody's singing at one point. Everybody's kind of. It's weird. Just you're sitting there and everybody's singing. Come this guy's by, playing yeah. great piano and we're just singing all different kinds of songs. And hey, they're singing covers. It's beautiful. It's all fun. Drinking great wine. And I kind of uh, talk to Taylor. I say something. She says, like, "Yeah, we met before." And I go, "Oh, we haven't." And I know. And then she goes, well, "Really?" I go, oh, "Well, I don't know. Maybe." She goes, what are they? I said, "Maybe that. May I did a benefit. Maybe I do stand up." She goes, "Oh, you're a comedian." I go, "Yeah." She, that's why. What is? I love watching comedy. Ah. As I'm talking to her, my wife pushes my face away. She takes my hand, face and pushes me away and goes, "Excuse me, I'm his wife. I just have to tell you that um, my daughter is a huge fan, and if I don't say hi, my daughter will kill me." And I was like, "Oof, mm. wrong thing to say. Thank you for pushing my face away. Very awkward." And when Taylor heard that we bought her CDs, she went, "Oh, oh, CDs." Really? Yeah. So that's my uh, that's my entire story. And I, I, I think uh, <laughs> that story didn't really... Do you have any other famous friends or things you want to drop? Or The problem is... And then is, you even gave yourself a compliment during that. The problem is... And then Taylor's is, like, yo, you're that comedian. I was like, whoa, no, crazy. She, she that is me. She didn't recognize me, nor do I care about her knowing what I do. But uh, the problem... You know you know what the problem with this story is? I can't tell you anything because we're on the air. Not like an orgy broke out. You know what I mean? But, you know, you got to be respectful. You don't want to be... Well, if you were, if you were going to go down the route, you shouldn't even mention it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, it does whole, nothing for no one. I think the point it was really I did had nothing for the no point one. Is in I had here. my I I had to go watch. The point her. is you hung out with some famous. Friends. I stuck around to watch her sing so I could tell my daughter. 
that's really what the story is. That's what's fucked up. Is I stuck around because I mean you would have been there. All, all due respect, like I, she's great. I'm not gonna stick around to watch. I, I wouldn't go to a Taylor Swift concert, right? It's not nothing. No knock on her. I'm just 48. It's not my demographic. It's mm. not my music. But I made sure I listened to everything she did so I could tell my daughter. And now I can. Cal go. has famous and, friends. And I wonder what my life. daughter's gonna do. She's gonna go. Oh, cool. Did you not get out your phone? She'll probably have the same reaction you guys did. It's tough, man. You can't get out your phone there, huh? I don't know. You tell me. That would be weird. Yeah. I wouldn't even talk about meeting him on the podcast, but so I oh, figured yeah. maybe you got your phone out. Yeah. It sounded like I just dropped a bunch of names, but you know. It's tough. Uh, well, uh, hmm, I don't know where to go from here. Oh, I saw the Reverend. Back to that. No spoiler Steve. alerts. Revenant? Yes. Yeah. You have, so Evan, good. you were right. It is so damn good. No spoiler alerts, but fuck, man. It's I really saw it at good. 1030 at night. There's some special sh- bullshit showing, and I hate going to late movies because I usually fall asleep. Got some coffee. Pfft, what? I mean, it's two hours and 45 minutes. I, I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. Best movie I've seen in a long time. Really? I'll leave it at that. I think really? it drops this weekend. Scale of 1 to 10? Uh, I mean, it's r- really, really good. Leonardo DiCaprio came to the party as well, and he was wearing. Mm. Tell us about the, the time you met Leonardo wore. DiCaprio. He was wearing the stuff. He was wearing the same stuff he did in the movie, and mm. he did the scene. He did a scene oh, from Revenant with the beer? there while Taylor was singing. Oh, see, that's and amazing. It was so amazing. Um, that, I'm telling you, man, that movie's. Oh, it's good. It's good. It was really it good. Is. Did you see? Uh, you started watching Making a Murder, dude. What I tell a- you? But how far are you? Can we talk five. about it yet? I'm at five. I'm at five. You're not addicted like everyone else. Well, you're not on this. It level. got so bad that I was. I had to go to sleep. I can't. I couldn't stop. I watched five in a row. Five hours. Five fucking hours. Oh yeah, I did more than that. And I would have watched ten, but I realized I would have been up until five, six in the morning, and I, I just had to. My my boy Joe Klonstein called uh, text me. Goes, you fucked me. I go, what? I thought maybe I said something on the show I shouldn't have. He goes, fuck, man, you're hyping up making a murder so bad. Yeah, I was up till 6 a.m. finishing the whole damn thing. I was like, oh, oh, well, it is good. God, is that um, a good show? I, I, I'm- dude, my brother, I call him. You know, he's texting me about fucking making a murder. I'm like, all right, man, blah, blah, blah. And then I call him. He goes, uh, law offices of Jay Shaw. How can I help you? He wants to be a lawyer now. And he's, he read everything there is. Everything on the case and was telling me why he's innocent. Cause don't, I, tell, don't say anything, please. Don't say well, anything. Well, because I tweeted out that <laughs> I think he's innocent. Or I think he, I don't think he's innocent. Yeah, but can we not? You, I can't These are hear opinions. it. I, I can't hear hey, anything. Hey, he's, he's, and, he's in prison and for I, murder. Oh, stop. I can't hear it. I don't want to hear you how it ends. season five. I know, but don't tell me about it. I don't want to hear anything about how it ends, dude. Just, hey, hey, I hey, can't. hey. It's a documentary I don't want to about hear it. a guy in prison. I know. Can that's you it. Shut the fuck up. No, that's it. Every everyone in the world knows it. I don't want to hear. There's no spoilers. I don't know how it ends, bro. Don't tell me how it ends. I have. I'm not telling you how it ends. You're an idiot. You're officially an idiot. Stop talking about. No. It. Everyone wants us to talk about making and a murder. More importantly, you're behind. And more importantly, six fucking I, months. A lot of people aren't. And a lot of. And by the way, by the way, and the, that's the main thing I should have fucking started with, which was. I stuck around and didn't watch the end of Making a Murderer For so Taylor I could watch Swift. fucking Taylor Swift for my daughter. That's being a good dad. Don't, don't try covering Damn. up your name dropper for the first half an hour of the I podcast. I told you I was going to drop a bunch of names, as you knew. Um, but Making a Murderer, so Jay reads all these facts on why he thinks he's innocent. I'm, we're talking, there's out there, I think it was a Reddit thing. Did you see it? There's a Reddit article. Oh, there's a Reddit thread. Like there's 10, a Reddit thread. It's like the biggest it. thread on Reddit ever, and it has all these documentations. Yeah. And I guess Anonymous is gonna release some shit too. Ooh. Like it's some shit. Ooh, they're man. getting in the making of murder. Anonymous again? is in on it. Oh, that adds a whole. They're, new they're releasing some shit thread. on the investigators. Dude, did you hear about Anonymous God, when they that. went after the Zetas? They went after the uh, the the cartel. Drug cartel. Yeah. And the cartel said, oh, okay, if you're going to start doing that, they started linking them to high-ranking government officials, right? Mm-hmm. And the Zetas basically started killing bloggers, cutting their heads off, putting their heads Random on. Random people. On, well, they, they started cutting their bloggers and computer people and putting their heads on their computer, like a journalist and th- stuff like that, Just who were investigating people. them. Yeah. Well, people were investigating them. And then they said, for every bit of information you release, we're going to kill 10 people. Jeez. And Anonymous stopped. Gotta stop it. Anonymous had to stop. Anonymous is on making a murder. They're and, badasses, man. And making a murder has a fucking billboard in Hollywood. Me and Callan came from Hollywood. I'll I'll tweet it out. Has a giant billboard. 
Did you see the giant billboard? Did you see the making a murderer signs at the Packers game? No. People are bringing making a murderer signs into NFL games now. Dude, it's a fucking it's unreal. I guess it took them ten years to make. It's the biggest documentary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something of like all that. time. It's huge. <sighs> biggest thing on Netflix ever. It's huge. It's incredible. <laughs> it, it's it's better than any movie. Anything. Have you seen it, Kay? I watched it. You watched. God. Well, I'm for sure, finish it so we can discuss I it. I will. People want Rogue and I to have just a making a murder, like a fight companion, but for just for Netflix documentaries. Yep. That's how big this thing is. Yeah. That was one of the same questions. I want to know what you're saying. But <laughs> it's interesting how in ju- how justice and injustice cuts across every culture. Like any time there's like human beings, and they've done studies on even infants have a very deep sense of fair play. Like, not infants, but small children understand fair play, and they think it's actually a moral sense. Like, it's something that you're inherently built with. For like, sure. You know right and wrong. You know right and wrong. You like, know right, right, right Like, wrong. kids, infants know when their mothers are distressed, so they know negative feelings. But, but for sure, like, when there is something that is unfair and injustice, something that's been put out of place, so somebody takes something that doesn't belong to them, Somebody bullies Kids somebody. Know. Other. Yeah, 100%. yeah. Well, they're, they're, it's like we have a, all of us across all cultures go, fuck that. You know that's not fair. Um, yeah, yeah. I wish we could talk about it. Uh, for sure. Fucking finish it. Yeah, America's seen it. Trust me. I don't think that. America's all seen it. Oh man, trust me. People have been on it. Yeah. Yeah. It's all. It's all our our timeline. Everything. Um. Yeah. It's interesting. It's interesting. Can't really talk about it. I'll see it tonight. I'll watch it tonight. Yeah. Tonight Sorry, I will finish it. Because on the live shows, we're going to get a lot of questions about it. All right. Hey, it's huge. Finish it. I'll, I'll finish it. Update yourself. Uh, yeah. He's uh, it's an inter- it's an interesting case. Someone uh, tweeted us like, oh, looks like you're not bringing the live show to Wisconsin. Nah, that doesn't scare me, man. We'll go up there. You can't frame us. I'm not killing anybody. Fucking nuts. You have no reason to. Nuts. <laughs> this whole reason he's fucked is you're suing him for $36 million. <clears throat> You sue in the state. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of incentive there. Well, hold on. Was he, he was suing the cops individually because they weren't covered by their, their, insurance. By their department's yeah. insurance. Yeah. So they would be personally liable. By the way, the, hey, that real quick. That police work hey, is not very good. Not a spoiler alert. <laughs> Everyone knows this. How stupid is Brendan? And why is his name Brendan? <laughs> God damn. I know. Hey, sorry. man. Sorry. You all right? I'm sorry. I'm dying. Why is his name Brendan? God damn it. When they're like, Brendan, I'm like, hell yeah. Another Brendan. I'm like, he's the stupidest person in America. Truly. <laughs> it's, it's so of, maddening. Of course you can frame it's him. so maddening. My favorite part is when he uh, tells him the, about the murder, and he's like, uh, now I'm just going to go hand in the project. Is that cool? Like, nah, bitch. You ain't going no, back to school. You're not going anywhere. You don't commit to doing a murder and then go back to sixth period art class. But how, about the way they, how, about the way, how about the way they suggest things? All right, I'll just say it. You shot her in the head. Like, you get so frustrated. You're like, come on, dude. This is a terrible, terrible way to elicit a confession. You're giving the kid. He, he's so dumb, it makes me angry. Like, I'm like, hey! And, and then how about the way they answer the phone? How they, how they, like, yeah, go, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, you should have told him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why do they talk like that? Well, yeah, you sh- you shouldn't have done that, Brendan. Some yeah, days. yeah. Sometimes That's how they talk. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you have a life where you're like you just get caught up in it's just bad luck. Sometimes you have a life and all you have to play with are rocks. <laughs> when, when, right. when people say sometimes good luck, you got a life and the biggest thing in your town is old used cars. I know. And playing with rocks is your shit. When my dad comes from Wisconsin. My father got yeah the, got out of there at. at isn't it answer. weird how they do that? They answer the phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's that's. Well, not he even, goes, I don't know, I don't know if. Uh, but that's not Milwaukee. That's the sticks of Wisconsin. You know? Oh, that is the sticks. That's the sticks. And he's that's all, he's all, I don't know if she leaves. I I don't have anything left to live for. Yeah, yeah. All right. I love his see mother. you tomorrow. His mother's great. Don't talk stupid. I'll punch you in. I'll punch you in the nose, dude. I for whatever I feel bad reason, for those parents. I want to grab his mom's face and go <laughs> like Billy Masson. Don't you ever, ever say that and go. <laughs> she has like these cheeks. She looks like she'd be cuddly as fuck. Her, her face has been. Her, her face. Her face has been. Has been scrunched up. A bit. No, not not even scrunched up. It's just like it, you. Uh, she the looks like of time. She, she looks like one of those human goldfish with the big lumps off their yeah. face. But it's like she had a face yeah. lift. 
It just looks like it looks like you want to cuddle with that big girl. Yeah. Well, there are a couple of things that I went through. With the hand of time definitely reached out, grabbed that face, and squeezed super hard. And I, we know that. That's what the hand of time does. <laughs> And, and 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 that's fine, but I I am. She this looks is cuddly to me. I don't know if you do this, but I'm watching it. And I'm five episodes in, and I literally I, this is how fucked up I am. All I think about is how these people are not eating properly, and how heavy they are, and how unhealthy they look. I know it's weird, but I'm always like, hey, just there's a pretty easy way to like just eat less sugar, maybe. I, I don't know. Yeah, you guys are a little mean about it. I'm going to disagree with you. I, listen, yeah. I don't I, mean to be mean, though. I'm not but you are. But your thing is you have a complex with people's size and health and stuff like yeah. that. Some people don't a give complex, a fuck, Ryan. Though? Is it you a complex, You have a complex. You have a huge complex. But what do you mean? You'll like, watch Making a Murder. The guy's going to prison for life. And you're like, God, that guy's short. What? No, it's not short. I'm well, no, you'll about... pick out some physical attribute. Well, what I see. Instead of I like, see, port, when... like, I, like I, to me, I, their health, size, however, that didn't even come into the fucking equation. I don't, I don't look at, unless he's an athlete, I don't give a flying fuck. Yeah, I, do. I don't care. I'll tell you what it is. For me, I think what it is is this. When I see time after time people who are that overweight or whatever, I think to myself, I, I, there's a way to fix it that's probably not as hard. It's not that hard, I think. Right? Like, well, you know what I mean? If you, you educate yourself. No, no, no. I disagree. The reason you say that, Brian, is because you were born with good genetics. You're a skinny guy. You're an ectomorph. I know that. So you could eat whatever that. you Brennan, want. Brennan, Brennan, they're also those people, a lot of America, and I travel this country a fuckload, a lot of America, eats in a way that is borderline madness. Oh, for Most, sure. Right? And that's all I'm saying. huge. And when I see that, and it's getting better, but when I see that, I want to, I kind of want to help them. I want to fix it. And that's, that's I don't know that's if Brian Callen's the guy to fix I, people I, on obviously nutritional I'm advice. Not. Obviously, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. But I want to because. because right, do I you want to like, help them or you judge them because they're out of shape and fat? Because a lot, a lot of time, a lot of time, people <clears throat> like fuck, man. When my mom was grinding nine to five, there's no time for the gym. The easiest thing was to do is go to Burger King. There's no time to worry about calories. That's and what fat I'm saying. Stuff. Though in Europe, for that's, example, that's in America. Europe, in Europe, they grind too, and they're not fat. And I, a lot of it's because they have a better understanding of how to eat. And I think in this country, for whatever reason, and there are a lot of reasons to go into it, but people don't. And well, fast food's cheaper too. There's a lot of stuff, man. There's a lot of fast stuff. It's also how the food industry makes money off of making food cheaper that are, food that are that are not cheap in fact there's a, there's a, there's it's also the food industry can't make money off of just foods in, the, in their unadulterated state michael Pollan writes about this it's way easier instead of giving somebody real yogurt to put 15 different ingredients into a yogurt 100 you know? percent, and a lot of it's sugar and all that stuff a lot so. of it's easy a lot of it's easy you have a family of four you got to feed you know what it's i'm a saying package. I'm, yeah, yeah i go to burger king i'm spending fucking 12 dollars yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's cheap as fuck. It's well, easy. Well, we also are a country that's always he on the uh, move. Again, though, health isn't a lot of people or vanity or any of that being <clears> thin. <throat> a lot of them just don't give a fuck. Yeah. When you're struggling in life, that's the least of your worries. Well, I think that uh, that only makes your problems worse. And I think that it, it goes a long way into if we if people spend more time at least researching or kind of working on that or we learned how to eat as a country, which we don't know how to do. I think we're getting better at it. I think uh, – I don't think that makes the problem better. I think it makes it worse. I think it affects your mood and everything else. You know, anyway, when I look at yeah, that I think stuff, it's the I least go, of their problems. Yeah. When I, I look at that, I'm I like, don't this, so. motherfucker, I with this motherfucker needs to figure out a way not to get framed for murder for the rest of his life. Well, I'm talking about the people, all the people. I'm not just talking about one guy. I'm talking about all. In fact, that guy in is in the less, documentary. Yeah. I'm talking about, you know. Well, they only show a handful. Did you see Brendan? He's huge. Yeah. He's huge. Big boy. He's a low IQ. Low IQ. Tough, man. It's tough when you love a child and they weren't born with a full brain. That's a motherfucker, man. I have no idea. That's a motherfucker. I, I bet it's horrible. Oh, I watched that. Because you're so I watched this, this new show. You might like it. You don't really don't watch that kind of TV. But it's a reality show called Born This Way on A&E. And it's about, it's, it follows all these kids with Down syndrome. And they're all trying to do their own thing in life. You see the parents. Yeah, I can't. I can't fucking imagine because, you know, I, I'm, my kids do in February. A uh, little boy doesn't have Down syndrome. Right. Did all the tests. Thank God. But when he's 18, homeboy's on his own moving yeah, on. Yeah, man. Down syndrome. Not nah, homie. You got a roommate for the rest of your life. Yep. And you know what's interesting about Down syndrome also is that I've heard from from what I've read is that somebody with Down syndrome a lot of times likes everybody equally. Um, they, they just like they make a new best friend right away, and so it's really hard for the parents because a lot of times they don't distinguish, they don't have favorites. So their parents 
can be as adored. This is what I've been, I've read and I've been told. I, I may be wrong mm -hmm. in most cases, but a true Down Hashtag syndrome kind of kid, a, 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 two, uh, a true Down syndrome kid will sort of like its parents as much as it likes a new person it meets at the playground. That's how like cats that are. I hate to compare the two, but that's how cats are. You know, you can take a cat from any home, yeah, man. and they like that's, they don't care about why, the owner. That's why I never like cats. I fucking hate cats. Any go. guy that likes cats or that's your thing is weird. Man. That's I mean, dogs. I'm literally, dogs. literally why I don't dogs. like cats. And by the way, man, I hate I hate to go down the road. I'm just saying, like cats. If people don't know this, you can take a cat from any home, place another one. As long as there's food and shit, he's cool. He's not gonna freak out. He's not yeah. gonna miss the owner. That's a cat for you. Dogs aren't the same, but. Okay, kids with Down syndrome, you're saying, yeah. you know, they can go wherever. Yeah. But you watch this show, man, and it's like there's this one dude who calls himself a ladies' man, and he just – have you been watching it, Kay? He loves girls. Yeah. Check this out. He will meet a girl, like, you know, oh, what's your name? Brianna. Hey, Brianna, want to be my girlfriend? Yeah. Oh. oh, I love you. Straight. And That's the, what happens. And the parents are like, whoa, homeboy. Yeah. Even she was like, whoa. Even that, the other girl with Down syndrome was like, slow your roll. That's what happens. That's exactly what happens. Yeah. That's what happens is they, 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 it's a fascinating show. And so show, parents, man. parents, they spend all the time. They love their child so much and their child doesn't love them any more than he loves really? the girl that's he true? just met. Man, yeah. That's and brutal. that's so hard for them. And every time I see a down syndrome kid, I, uh, I get really protective over them. Like I love them. Did you have, did you ever used to play like pickup ball or something with a down syndrome kid? So what? They were yeah. way stronger than me when I was a kid. <laughs> really? Oh, they all take Jimmy. You yeah. know, Jimmy had down syndrome. Like, okay, Jimmy unleashed. Yeah. Unleash the hound. This yeah. dude is going to fuck you kids up. Yeah. And he's our same age. He just has freak strength. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but he's DDT and somebody. <laughs> well, we had, <laughs> dude, he would fucking Randy Savage these kids to the ground. We had a kid, a girl who used to come and play with us. She was a young, you know, she was, and sh she would always kind of be put right with all of us. Well, we all took care of her. We were all, you know, but it, as a child, you don't really know how to navigate that. They're just, you don't, you just know they're different, but yeah. you know, you're not. We were never mean about no. it. No. I swear to God, I'd always pick him first. I got fucking Jimmy. That's awesome. This dude had his cleats on. Fucking, he was like the junior sale of Aurora, Colorado. Just fucking clotheslining kids like the water boy. <laughs> Boom! We're bumping chest and shit. That's awesome. Yeah, and then I had to get rid of him. We kept wanting to hang out. But, uh, but what is it about people that like cats? Like, how do you not? And even dogs, like, I'll be honest with you. Like, some dogs, they like everybody. That's why I've always liked the kind of working dogs that are really smart. Like no, I don't Shepherd. like those. I know, I know. Uh, like, German Shepherd likes you can't get your more face than anybody else. Shit. Yeah, I like. I kind of like the idea that a one man dog is going to be. No, in man, end. you don't want the the dog the uh, like like I had a pit bull forever. It's kind of like, like an, everybody. It's kind of like an escaped convict. Like a, they not like escape, It's kind of like a felon yeah. that got out and is on probation. Yeah, you trust them, but you really don't. Yeah, yeah, Like yeah. you kind of pet them, but you know, at any moment you can freak the fuck out and rip your face That's off. True. That's how pit bulls are, yeah. man. You got to be careful around those things. Pit bulls are, are yeah, they're dude. So how about on? Uh, I I told you a story before. Be on uh, Nine News. I forget her name. She was like the main fucking lady on nine news in denver i'll never forget this you know how they have the adoption things on there they show a cat she's like oh this is roger he's two he's looking for a home i'm like oh roger looks nice this is billy billy's a wiener dog I'm like, that's a cute wiener dog i might take that thing too and this is bruno it's a white pit bull mix i'm like oh god damn that thing is sick and i was Think, ask my brother. I'm thinking about calling the number to I'm buy this dog. I'm like, I'm going to take Bruno. My brother's like, that would be sick in our house. We were living together at the time. And she's like, Bruno is one. I'm like, oh, sick. Looked like a baby polar bear. Had black eyes, <laughs> black nose, all white. And she's like, Bruno's one. She's like, and he's the sweet. No, I'm making this up. He's the sweetest thing. Kisses his nose. Arrgh! Bites his. Hey, you can Google it, or YouTube it. Bites this bitch's top lip. Clear off. Yeah. She came back on the air like two years later with surgical lip. <laughs> Career at Enzo. I was like, oh, at Enzo, God. ladies and gentlemen. And it's been my dog for six years now. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't take him. They euthanized him. First of but all, don't <laughs> kiss a dog. Don't You don't know the dog. Oh, I do. Don't I kiss, kiss dog every dog on the nose. No. I kiss every single dog I no meet way, on the man. nose. Dogs do you know what I do? Clamp their nose like an alligator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. Then that's get out. better. That's better. And get out. Because some dogs will bite the shit. My, my dog, Moto. This girl was drunk. Name. She's at my house. She's drunk. It's a and great name for she's, dog. Moto's the best. 
And he's sitting there. He's a little. He was just this little fucking corgi, whatever mix. The greatest little dog in the world. And she goes to kiss him on the face. And I was like, "Don't, please, don't kiss him on the face. <laughs> he's a rescue. He doesn't like this that." This fucked up your whole game. She's so drunk. She goes, "No, I love him." She bite. He bites her right on the nose. Pierce that shit. Pierces the nose. Thing. And get this, she's bleeding. She's like, oh, and she's kind of crying a little bit. She goes, no, it's okay, it's okay. He just got scared. I go, I go, please don't kiss him, please don't kiss him, please don't. She goes out again. She goes, no, it's okay. He goes, ah! He bites her again, again. This bitch is I up. swear to God, my buddy Johnny was there. We were laughing. Like, There's blood, fucking like all over. I'm like, you got to get away from the fucking dog. I no, 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 one more time. I'll to, figure this out. I had to take Moto away and put him in the garage. That's the best thing Get in the fucking dog. garage right name. now. I want Moto and I want a wiener dog as the mascot for this room. Uh, but, uh, my dude, people? I was dating a girl. You know who this girl is. I was yeah. dating this girl and she had a dog and he's kind of playful, like bouncing. You know, I love dogs. So, right when I walk in the house, I'm on the ground, like wrestling with him. <laughs> And she goes, oh, I'm just going to go to the bathroom or something. Right? I'm like, oh, cool. And I'm like wrestling with the dog. And he stopped for a second. I like stopped to look. And he, uh, someone like rings the door or something. And he pops up like, boom. And it fucking, boom. I, not many stuff. Hits the corner of my eye. Boom. This thing swelling. This Dude. is a big dog. This Dude. thing swelling up like I got punched in the face by a Their, their heads are so strong. I was all, ow. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> That's but, dog skull, bro. But, and then my eyes are watering. Things swelling up like a fucking, like I get beat up. She comes out and she's like, oh my God, you're right. I'm like, I'm fine. I, but I didn't know it was swelling. I didn't know it was black, like filling up. Dude. She's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, why? She's like, your eye. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Dude. Fuck that data. Dog skull is about as hard as a kettlebell. Dude, dog they skull, don't give a. They don't fuck. notice at all. Fuck. My dog was fighting with another dog last time to my other dog. I kicked that fucker in the head. Didn't feel a thing. I mean, I, I drove no, my foot in. Get the fuck off these. Dog was like, what? Shut up. You ever try to break a fight, a dog fight? Not a good, not a good time. Oh, I've done it a couple of times. I know how to do it now. Water I'm an expert. No, it, oh, oh, it doesn't work. Do it doesn't work. Not on my dogs. My dogs, I had a, I had a police dog and a, That's and a cat's pit bull. Kid. I, I, I had a police dog and a pit bull. They used to lock up on each other, and you weren't getting them off, and I would have to choke one on, uh, uh, like put them in, a, in literally a choke. I'd choke them off, and he'd fall, and the other one would grab a hold of it. You'd, it. It was a nightmare. You could not get them off each other, and this is what I used to do. After a while, I got good at it. They'd, they'd lock onto each other. I would knock them over and keep put my knees on their fucking necks yeah. and sit with my knees until they got exhausted and let go. Really? Yeah. And it got so bad I had to give one of my dogs Dude, away. D dogs are thousands I, I of dollars. I dog. wish I had more time for dogs, man. Dude, I got bit in the ass by a dog so fucking hard. When I was a kid, you know how kids are. They're fucking yeah. pricks, man. This kid's house got hit by lightning in the back. So obviously it was the talk of elementary. I was like in fourth grade. So like, damn. I mean, his name was Cameron. Cameron's tree got hit by lightning. This is going to be sick. Let's go just check it out afterwards. And for a reason, no one's going in the backyard. I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Like, go look at them. Like, All right. So they open the gate up and push me. And there's oh, like this, dude, that's there's no this joke. tree like split in two all black. I'm like, it's pretty cool. Like, why is no one else coming? Out walks this fucking Rottweiler. Dude, that's so like, dangerous. Oh, hell no. I'm in fourth grade. That's terrifying. What the fuck, That's terrifying. Man? Hey, kids, let's not kill little Brown. Literally could have fucking killed Killed me. you. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm like, guys. And I take off running back to the door. And I'm, I turn around because they won't open the door. And I, I'm i like facing the dog as he's coming, bark at me. And he goes to lunge at me instead of fucking taking off my, even at the time in fourth grade, that piece was fresh. Yeah. He was trying to bite it off. I turned last second, ass shot. As hard as you can imagine a Rottweiler biting That's a so dangerous. fourth grader's ass. Just, I don't know. Oh, my bit God. Could have killed you. ass so bad. Could have killed you. Well, the kids could. I started crying. Obviously started crying. They open the door, and I run out. Blood's all down the back of my leg. That's no joke, dude. My dad has to take me to the doctor, and they give me this fucking, like, tetanus shot. <clears throat> That's yes, a good man. time. That feels good. Oh. My, my hey man, what's wrong with these evil kids? Nowadays, that would have been a major lawsuit too. Oh, I'm That's suing nowadays. The, Little Brown, growing up in Marina Del Rey, he's suing. I, I was, up, son. I was walking my pit bull, Piggy. I wish you'd met her. The greatest. I thought I met Piggy. No, you met Lucy. Piggy, I'm walking Piggy, and I'm on the walk street. You've been with me in, in Venice, where yeah. I used to live. And the walk street, it's a walk street. There are no cars. It's You can only walk on it. And you're surrounded by 
you know, guard the yards of two different houses on either side. It's thin. Yeah, it's thin. And it's at night. And I, <laughs> I walk and my dog darts to the left and goes into the bushes. And I hear like that. And I look down and it's a black cat that has expanded like a blowfish. You know how they go like yeah, that? Like, like stand Bro, up. My dog, my That's dog. Scared. What? This is what it did. I swear to God. She went, Aah! she screamed and rolled over on her back and had a panic. I swear to God, she rolled over on her back and went, Aah! she screamed, not barked. She went, Aah! and kept going, Aah! had a heart attack. She went into hysterics, my fucking pit bull. I'm not exaggerating. And it was so loud that the people came out to see what the fuck the noise was. And I said, I Worst said, it's okay, my ever. dog got scared of the cat, this badass black cat. And I look over and the cat's still standing its ground like it's arched, like it looks like the letter C turned upside down. I was like, holy mother of God. And I've never seen that reaction. I've never seen A that. dog rolling over on its back and screaming. Just giving it up. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm, and I'm, when I do this, I'm telling you, it, it was, it sounded exactly like this. <laughs> Like you might have an aneurysm or something, dude. I thought my dog was gonna die of a heart attack. And then did he just flip over? Like everything's all good? Not really, not really. <laughs> you had to carry him home. I, I, she kept making noise. She kept going, ooh, ooh. and I, I remember. I, I, I think I asked the vet. I said, "Have you ever seen that?" He goes, "I think she got hysterical and she probably thought she was gonna die and started screaming." I was I mean, like, you're, "Well, you're the biggest well, bitch of all time shit. for a dog." Yeah, no, hopeless watchdog, hopeless watchdog. Loved everybody, but um. Mm. Fucking dogs, man. You, you, you don't have any pets, right, Ev? Uh, I have a hundred and thirty some odd pound Newfoundland um, well, that I lives with you or your parents' house. It's my roommate's. Oh fuck! It's just a little that thing big. drops big dinosaur shit. <laughs> She's a big girl. Yeah. That thing drops fucking good dinosaur shit. The fur and it's like it's like having a giant walking mop. The fur just collects fucking. Oh, yeah, I love you know, them, like though. when like the Stegosaurus takes a shit in the beginning of Jurassic Park, and it's like just a mountain. That's basically what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. Plus, the thing when you have a dog that big, it's like all up on your grill. It's in the couch. It's on your bed. <sighs> I mean, their assholes are just yeah, out, man. Yeah, yeah. Assholes and dicks are just... And they smell. They're everywhere. Yeah. It's like I a grown man's ass in your face. Yeah. I love dogs, too, but when they're that big... Your house is going to be covered in hair. It's just too big. I like an Australian cattle dog, and I like working-class German shepherds. That's my next dog. My brother has a giant golden doodle. He's pretty cool. Named Ruffian. Not they don't smell. shed. Named Ruffian? Ruffian. That's a great name. They don't shed. I like Briggs for a dog. I like Moto for a dog. Mm. You don't. You don't like Briggs. Are you putting together a mercenary squad, or yeah, is this a video <laughs> game of a Briggs, yeah. Moto, yeah. Razor, Bebop, Rock Study, yeah, and Slade, Rock Study, and Slade. Why Rock Study, bro? Well, Bebop, Bebop, and Rock Study from the Turtles. Rock Steady. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said Rock Study. That I works like too. Rock Steady. Rock Steady is a good name. Only you call him Steady or Rock or Rock. Yeah. I don't know. I'll come up with a name. Yeah, we could use a mascot for the fire and the kid. Um, we could definitely use a mascot. Now, it's like Eliza always bring, brought her dog to the podcast. We just kind of permanent, permanently have a dog up here. No, but we got to keep him here. Yeah. I don't want to take him home. I don't want him at home. Yeah. Well, that's a problem. We'd have to be small. We could get a lizard, like a tank, put it there. Again, I don't want to feed it. I had two giant macaws. I don't want to do nothing. Birds. Want to. Say, never buy a bird. They're too smart. Don't well no 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 fuck a bird. It's not even that they're smart. You what do you do with a bird? I had a bird when I was a kid. They fucking suck. Well you can't really play with them. Macaws you can't. Macaws you you can't. What do you do with it? It Has talons. Has fucking. They want you to cuddle them. They want to watch TV with you. If you're not with them, they scream. They make a mess. They're super smart. If you leave them alone, they pick their own feathers. Don't buy a don't buy a a a smart like an African gray macaw unless you're with them all day. You name an animal, I've had it. I've had it. Name, name like like a well, don't don't say like a fucking tiger. Well, I'll go through mine. I've had turtles. I've uh, had snakes. Me too. My, had every snake, every turtle. My turtle committed suicide. <laughs> my he did. He committed suicide. How? My snake his head was ripped off. What else you got? Uh, I've had. I have a bad hamster. I had a ha- hamster. My brother bought one, and his black hamster ripped my hamster's head off. We had him on a train together. What else Shit. you got? Um, you haven't had macaws. You haven't had big birds. I've had a bird. I had a parrot. But I couldn't afford a cage, so I kept them in my closet. I couldn't change my clothes, because every time I'd go in there to change my clothes, he would attack me. Yeah. What else you got? <laughs> well, you probably shouldn't keep them in a dark ca- closet. I was like a real shitty crocodile uh, hunter. Yeah. What about guinea pigs? 
I had a guinea pig. Guinea pig and hamster are kind of the same, though. They yeah? suck. Too. Guinea pig's like a guinea fat pig's hamster. A big hamster. Hamster, you insert into your ass. Guinea pig, you can't. That's the difference. <laughs> Is that weird? One works in your ass, and the other, well, one just likes to eat and the chill. Other you can wear in the your, other, you can wear in your, your underwear and have your have your three piece set mushed against a guinea pig. Guinea pig fur is very soft. It's hard to have a bad day when your three piece set is nestled in guinea pig fur. Yeah, that's a good point. You know uh, what I'm saying? Hard not dude, to smile all day, dude. I had, I had an iguana and I wanted to show it off for the kids around the block, so yeah. I put a leash, a cat leash on him, uh-huh. and I was like dragging him. He was like, you know, just like thing like <laughs> along the. Cement. As a kid, you want your animal to be like. I want to be my boy. Yeah. I want my pet mom. So I had this iguana and he was like not moving. So I drag him like a slave yep. <laughs> across the hot cement. And then all of a sudden I'm um, around my friends like fucking told you. Here's my iguana, Jerry, where the fuck his name was. Here's Jerry, motherfuckers. Told you I wasn't lying. Everyone's like, oh, cool, iguana. And for whatever reason, at that time, he decided to flip the fuck out because he had this noose around his neck and just started going Wah! and fucking anaconda spinning around. And everyone was like, oh, oh, I saw a bird. Come there's Brendan with the crazy iguana. He fucked my whole rap up on the streets. Oh, my I had God. to give him away. Oh, my God. I, th- this weekend, I can't believe I'm, I'm with my son at the park and there are all these ducks. Oh, my God. I forgot to tell you this. Love a duck. Ducks everywhere. <laughs> I my son's looking over and I see a hawk come down, land on the on a duck. I can't <sighs> believe I didn't tell you this. Lands what? on a duck. Just go. Yeah, yeah. And bites its neck. That duck just goes Bleh. dead. And it fucking takes the duck and flew this away a with a hawk. fucking duck. Not really. It wasn't that medium much size. bigger than it was a medium sized hawk. It, 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 it wasn't that much bigger Damn, than a duck. Damn, they eat ducks, dude. It it flew off, and that duck's head was lollygagging. And my son, I go, I go. My son goes, "What is that? What is that bird doing?" I go, "Ah, I don't know. He's probably eating." He goes, "Well, what?" He, he couldn't figure out what really happened. Took that duck. You don't want to tell him. Took that duck to Deathsville. And and flew Damn, off. Damn, hoxy duck. I guess so. Landed on that thing. Goosh, bit, bit it right on its neck. Thing died. Cannibal. Just fucking it's a cannibal. died. Yeah. Well, do, um, hawks are carnivores. Hawks don't eat seeds. They eat meat. Well, so do eagles. But the way that thing landed on that, I was like, "What the a fuck? duck?" And it was crazy. And guess what? That's amazing. And the duck had strayed a little bit. The duck was a little bit away from the, the rest outcast. of the group. He was kind of the outcast. He was the nerd. Well, when you're a duck, nothing really fucks with you in the wild, does it? Got to be with your flock if you want to be well, a nerd. But, any, but what, as a duck, you're not like, hey, don't don't get left behind. You know those hawks? And said no one ever. Well, duck politics, they might have been like, you, you go out there where the hawks. So don't put me out I here, I bet man. they didn't know about the hawks. Probably not. I bet he was like, I'll catch up with you guys. like, fucking, idiot. there's food over here. Boom, hawk. Yeah. What's a, what's a, what's a duck bill going to do against that hook beak? Ducks have no defense. You got shit. You got web feet. Don't even fuck it. You don't even have like talents. You Dude, got I don't eat feet. duck. I don't eat duck. You're food. They're too cute. When you're a I duck, I think ducks are cute as fuck. I eat the shit out of ducks. Do you? Oh, the oh, shit. Oh man, that's out of fucked it. up. I'll they shoot, are so cute to me. I'll shoot a duck right now. Pluck it and eat it. Well, how easy it to shoot kill a duck? My favorite. One of my favorite birds. I love that video duck game. Duck and pheasant. Duck hunt. You're playing. No, no, no. I'll eat geese. I'll oh. eat it all. Any anything that flies, I'll kill and eat. Really? Yeah, except for like a bird of prey because you don't want to eat those. It doesn't taste good. You don't want to just try a little bit of bald eagle? It's probably a, le- a little bit illegal. Well, I think I'm just saying. So your house. If, you, if when, when we're on a West Coast tour, if we're in San Francisco, yeah. the guy's like, oh, my God, Fata and the kid. Oh, my God, Fata and the kid. Right. I'm like, what's up, man? I have something very special for you. Right. And they, we, ah, uh, is that eagle? Is that is that bald eagle stuffed with panda meat? That's bald sure. eagle. Inside, yes. wrapped inside koala beer, bacon. Koala bear. Yeah. Along with white rhino penis. Whoa. Whoa, that seems really illegal and expensive. And I yeah. drizzled you, dolphin semen all over the top. Break four felonies, eating one bite, and you have four felonies. Usually I charge $7 million. Hmm. Doll hairs. Doll hairs. Doll hairs. It's a good... Uh, I'm fighter and a kid fan. You eat free. Is that a, <laughs> is that a Chinese... Uh, no, that's whatever you want to make it. Chinese or Chinese? Whatever you want to make it. Okay. No racist. Seems whatever very, you want to make it. It's very Chinese. Really? Yeah. It's whatever you want to make. Well, it's San Francisco, too. Large, huge Chinese Well, there's population. a lot of things in San Francisco. A lot. Man. A lot. A lot. Is there a city you're more excited to play for? I'm excited, man. We got our boy Tariq and Yosef Azim. We're hooked up there. San Francisco, the most excited city for you? Uh, I'm just excited about You've this tour. You've been everywhere. Yeah. I'm yeah, excited about this tour. I'm excited for L.A. Yeah, that's going to be great. Store. I guess because I've been there so many times. Great. Um, your hair hasn't moved. How do you keep it? There's also a sheen to it. Um, uh, and I'm wondering. Yeah, you don't have to wink. We've been doing this for a long time, no, so I'm I got it. <laughs> I'm wondering how you keep your Why hair. Why do you wink? 
No, nah, I just. He's all. No, I just want to know your secret. Is there any way I can get hair like that? Huh? Is there any way I can? Uh, well, you look dapper. I'll be honest with you. Thanks, man. You look like you live the life. You know what I mean? And I'm wondering how a I would. dapper life? Well, my hair is silver blue right now. It's silver blue. Silver blue. Now, does does dapper life work on silver blue hair? I think so. You tell me. It, it looks good. Dude. Oh, thanks, man. It looks tight and thank, to the bone. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah, you guys know the deal. I couldn't find the pomade until I had it made because I'm a diva. Dapperlife.com. I stand behind it. Dapperlife.com. D-A-P-P-E-R-L-Y-F-E. Classic pomade. Live hard, look good. Created in Venice, California. Of course, because I designed it. Because he designed it and he wanted his hair to look like. Made in the U.S. of A. Taylor Swift. If anyone else uses products other than Dapper Life, your eyes I asked, I asked 10% off. Promo code fighter, dapperlife.com. I asked Taylor Swift if she would uh, hawk our, our product. I was like, would you ever use Dapper Life? She was like, I'd love to. What would she put on? Uh, her upper lip or something? Yeah. That's not nice. Create things that are shiny. That's not nice. She's very pretty. Tall. She's a tall drink of water. Not tall. not my type. Right. I wouldn't kick her out of bed. You for spend playing time with her. I wouldn't kick her out of bed for playing the guitar. Yeah. But not my you, not, you, not Brick Brown. You spend enough time with her. You actually spend some. Yeah, time man. With I don't really talk about that stuff on the yeah. show. Wow. Well, but yeah, I mean, it's. I she's a good said, person. I blew, yeah, she's a good person. Yeah. We can just move on from there. Uh fights. The, how about those fights? What's out your boy Frank Grillo's house? Yeah, man. Love Frank, man. Great group of the guys. The Grillo crew. Great people. Good wine that night. Yeah. Man. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad, right? That's good Italian We're going to be drinking some wine on this West Coast tour, huh? Yes, we, we are. We deserve it. Yes, we are, and yes, we do. Uh, um, the fights were good. The overall card, not great. It's not yeah. going to blow your hair back. The main event, well. Yeah. Um, let's start. Obviously, my boy Tony Sims made a huge mechanical error, and... Uh, he got choked out. He was doing well before that. Uh, I'm trying to think of the other fights. Mr. Ortega with his uh, with his Ortega, Tri-City. Triangle City. He's Good a sl- jiu-jitsu, man. I text him before the fight. I said, listen, the first round, don't look for a finish. Avoid a huge punch. As the fight w- goes on, you're going to destroy this guy. You're going to wear him out. You're going to catch him in something. I guarantee you can't keep up with your jiu-jitsu. Granted, he's a black belt. Yeah. But T-City, Brian Ortega's jiu-jitsu, I'm telling you, is so dangerous because he goes, one thing, like transitions. Well, you right? can't keep up. If somewhere along the line, he's going to catch you. Yeah. Because you get out, you're here. You get out, you're here. I've seen him do it with high level dudes, Damn. man. He's Henry Gracie and uh, Huron's protege. He's a fucking monster, monster. man. Obviously, he lacks in the stand up department. That's where it, I text him, you need to go to a, a stand up coach and just live with him for fucking the next three months. Right. Because jiu jitsu is there. Yeah. Uh, so he's a fir- big 55er, isn't he? He looks big. He's tall. tall. He's tall. He's a very slender dude. Okay. Uh, good cardio, but obviously his jiu-jitsu <clears throat> is ridiculous. But yeah, he just needs to avoid that big punch and go to work. But it's going to get interesting, man. He's going to get tough guys. He's been fighting tough guys, but it's going to get a lot tougher. So Ortega looked great. And then Stipe Orlovsky. Listen, man, it's heavyweights. It's a toss-up. So when he hits, uh, when Stipe hit Orlovsky behind the air, you know, people are like, oh, typical, you know, guy set around uh, Frank's or house two ah typical or lost it's a chin issue no no you got to be more educated because if when you get hit behind the ear it's an equilibrium problem mm-hmm. there's nothing it's you not a chin thing there's yeah it, it hits him literally directly behind the ear and it, again it's not a legal shot because orlowski is moving into it so you can't calculate that mm-hmm. he's throwing a punch maybe laying on the jaw and orlowski turns and it hits him back in the air and that's when it's fucked from there so steve bay looked great Really great. Steve looked great. He's obviously in the next title shot. That's a hell of a fight. He matches uh, him up and good. Verdum. Well, no, Verdum has to beat Kane. Right. They fight in February. Right. That's a tough fight, man. That's I don't know if Verd- Verdum's going to win that. Either way, that's a great fight. And obviously, the main event, Robbie, Carlos, you, who saw it? You, obviously, you saw it. You two saw it. Ev, how'd you have it? I had it for Condit. So, how, what'd you I score? had it. I had a <laughs> first for Condit, second Lawler, third Condit, fourth Condit, fifth Lawler. Me too. Did you see the. Kay, com- what'd you have? You watched it. Who'd you have winning? Granted, you're not. Well, I just an expert. love Robbie Lawler because he's hot. So I just was hoping he was winning. You missed it when he was here. You could have got some digits. I think he's married. But we'll figure it out. Uh, well, I I'm looking at the compu box. I had con it, but but I'm looking at the compu box numbers with something crazy. I think, I think 
uh, Carlos landed 196 blows, and I think Robbie landed like 78. See, that that, that, that doesn't that, that doesn't work for me. Why, that, why, the, why those numbers that? don't work for me. A, let's to think about the idiot scoring these significant punches and how active Carlos is. So if I'm a if I'm a Carlos isn't technically considered a knockout artist in his hand. So Condit's doing all this stuff, setups, slap punching, you know, all this stuff. Those count as significant. So anything lands that counts. Right, right. Robbie's a knockout artist where when he hits, yeah. it counts and it ends the fight. Yep. So his style isn't to be that active. Mm -hmm. His style is to finish the fight with hard power punches. Right. So if you're going based off comp you strike numbers, that's stupid. Mm -hmm. You can't predict a guy win a fight or not a big bit in, in that case uh you know a guy like ds should win every fight because right. they're so active well no he's just he has a different type of game yeah so you can't go off come straight numbers say well look at the numbers this is crazy. Look at the numbers. Well, how are they scoring it? I don't know these fucks. These fucks who could put together comp strike numbers, I'm sure they're just as informed as the guys judging the fight. So if you don't agree with those guys, you sure as fuck can't depend on the comp strike number, guys. It doesn't work like that. So you can't take those numbers and be like, well, look at the numbers. It doesn't yeah. work like that. If you base off the fight, going off the scoring system that is in place for the UFC, I had Carlos win the fight. I had him winning one, losing two, winning three, four, yep. and they lost the fifth. Yep. So I gave two rounds to Robbie. Now that's going based off 10-9. I didn't really see any 10-8 rounds. Right. I don't think you can score any of them 10-8. Right. Uh, the fifth round, if Carlos wanted to, obviously this is why he's a fan favorite, if Carlos wanted to make sure he won the fight, he could have ran that whole fifth round and won the fight. Easy. I think because he stood there and trade and – you know, again, if you trade shots with Robbie Law, you're usually not going to win that battle. Because yeah, Carlos doesn't have the same power that Robbie does. So if Carlos hits Robbie, we see it. If Robbie lands on Carlos, yeah. we fucking see That's it. Crazy. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's crazy. And so the the damage done by Robbie that if so if Carlos lands fifty strikes and Robbie lands ten, mm. I think Carlos gonna be way more fucked up. I agree. Different type of style. I agree. It's like it's like uh here, here's one for you. So it's similar to uh, John Jones and Anthony Johnson. Mm -hmm. Would you rather get hit by John Jones ten times or Rumble Johnson ten times? Yeah. So Guess what? John Jones. John Jones is gonna hit you ten times. It's gonna fuck you up for sure. Anthony Johnson's not gonna sweep. take ten to fuck you up. Yeah. It's gonna take one or two. Same yeah. with Robbie Lodge. Does that make sense? Yeah. So based off our scoring system, which is fucking silly as fuck. Yeah. And nothing drives me more crazy when. Dana White is showing, you can't leave in the hands of the judges. Huh? It's 2016. Yeah. Our sport's supposed to be evolving. We wear fucking uniforms with Reebok on them, and we can't get legit judges? It, the thing is, when they raised Robbie's hand, I wasn't mad. Like, for me, I no, was like... That's the thing. No one got I mean? robbed. No Nobody one got robbed. robbed. They were both so good. They were both... It was such a close fight, and Robbie was the champion, and... and that doesn't work for me, either. People who say... Has, though, in boxing, in fighting. It, this I mean, isn't boxing. Words, this isn't boxing. Words, but in fighting, in general, this you, doesn't make sense. say you have to take the... This the doesn't make sense. Away. You have to beat the champ to call yourself champ. You have to be a decisive. No, no, no. It's a. It's no different than any other fight. It's the fight, it, whether it's whether he's the champion or not. So, so you're saying if it, if it was only three rounds and there's no title on the line, then Carlos should. I'm win. just telling you how human beings behave, right? And if you're the champion, well, no, 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 you're no, no, get no it's not, that's not the way they behave. That's the way we we the society and the media has told you it should happen. That does, that makes no sense. Well, if there's a five round fight and one guy's the champ and you beat him five out of five rounds, but you edge it out. You beat him. It doesn't matter what his history is. Mm -hmm. It does not matter. You can't give it to the champ based off, well, he didn't beat him that bad. Yeah. doesn't matter. I, you I, score rounds the exact same whether he has a huge background as a champion or a regular I'll tell you So something. do you think there is a championship bias then? Yeah, there is. judging, does it exist? Typically there is. Seems that way. With, with, the case of that? with our judges, there's so much bias. It, 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 there's a champion bias. There's a crowd bias because the crowd is chanting, Robbie, Robbie, he lands some. Oh, he lands. Oh, see, all that. But you know what else I so, think? So, so if they're they shouldn't even be in the fucking arena, they shouldn't be in the arena so they can get swayed. That right. makes zero sense. Right. They should be in a secluded so isolation can't hear all the, yeah. where they're not nothing. They're not even talking to each other. They shouldn't have each other's opinions. Right. They should have headphones on, noise canceling headphones. Watch the fight with no volume. That's a good Being idea. well educated and judging the That's fight. A good idea. And then at the end of the fight, they all compare scorecards and then they fucking text it in or email it into Joe Rogan or whoever the production staff. 
but they I, should not I be also at the think, I also think, though, that, and I, I know it doesn't count, but I, I just truly believe you have a five-round fight. <clears throat> I feel like the last round should count a, a little bit more. So I just, pride, pride scoring. <clears throat> well, I, for me, man, when I see Robbie Lawler, once again, and he was exhausted, by the way, way, t- way more tired than I've ever seen him in a fight. But it, when I see him creating that kind of damage on Carlos in round five after losing those, those other two, holy shit. That's when I just go, that guy's such a badass, man. And he does it every time. He's got that fifth gear that he kicks in in round five. And even when he was, he was exhausted. He was way more tired in this fight, but he still. Oof, he was tired out. in Robbie or Roy's fight too. He's he's just like that. He just bears down and he bears down, man. Throws from the hip, and, and, and he's just he's more dangerous maybe in round five. More if you're gonna stand there, yeah. When yeah. you're obviously tired. See, I I don't know, man. Would you you're, score the final round if you had your brothers with more significance? No, you would. No, the the and <clears> then <throat> the scoring system, the way it's set up right now. This this isn't me. The way it's set up, you can't do that. Right. The first round is just as important as the fifth round. Sure. Is that right? I don't know. No, I'm it's saying would you, if debate. you could change it, would you – do you think round five should it bear – I don't know. I don't know how you do it. But how do you how think would you it do should, it? I don't know. How would you do it? But if there was it a way – It doesn't make sense because then – then so let's say round one is worth whatever, nine points. Right. Then you go up from there. Sure. I'm just going to save my gas for the fifth round. You're going to get shitty fights because guys are going to coast to oh, win the, the bonus round. Oh, that makes sense. You can't do yeah. that. I just feel like in a five round fight, it is a fight. And if you're on top at the end of that fight, pounding the guy's face in, it just. So then what know. about the guys work the first four rounds of pounding your right. face in the fifth round side to pick it up? Yeah. And it, and it would, like it that. would change the way it doesn't people work fought. like that. People would coast and then they'd turn on you. Think, think of other sports <clears throat> did that. Granted, we are, well, there, it's not other sports. It's I know. True. Bitch, That's probably why they never sports. did it. That's what about, all right, let's, let, so let's say, uh, uh, fuck, take the Broncos. They were getting their ass whooped quarter one through three, but the but the fourth round they did well, but didn't pull it off. Just, should that count more than the right. other three rounds? Right. It doesn't make sense. Well, you can't Pr- do it. Didn't Pride do that though? They waited the later rounds heavier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say we had a shortage of exciting fights there based on that, but they also had yellow cards and red cards. Well, they had yellow cards. Right. They had yellow no cards. drug testing. No matter what they tell you, they had yellow cards. They had no drug testing, and they're fighting in a ring. The what? I'm sorry. What's a yellow card? It if was, it was boring, you got docked. I think 15 percent of your yeah, it was, I think it was wow. 15%. It was like a yellow card in soccer. Wow. Damn. It's just tough. Listen, the only thing I want to see is a rematch. I know uh, uh, Carlos is talking about retirement. The only thing I want to see is a rematch. I, I know they did say uh, Tyrone Woodley deserves, you know, he said he's next in line. I love Woodley. Love Woodley. Great dude. He has his own podcast, as a matter of fact. So check Woodley out. But Woodley and Robbie does nothing for me. Like I, I want to see Carlos and Robbie do it again. Yeah. You want to see that one more time. Yeah. But again, how many fights does Robbie have in him like this until he catches up with him? Because Carlos talking about retirement. Yeah, I mean, when you go through a war like that, I'm I find it appalling that they're taking that kind of beating, man, and still stand there talking. I was like, you guys, appalling. I just I can't believe that they can take that kind of punishment, and mm-hmm. Robbie especially. You talk about being through wars. How many rounds has he, he had fought? a salty like record, man. I think I saw some stat today that said that Robbie's t- absorbed more strikes anyone, in, right? than anyone in the UFC in the last five fights, I think, something like that. <laughs> that last part might be a little off, but it was that he's absorbed I believe more it. strikes. I, I, I've heard like something like that, is. yeah. I it's, believe it. That, uh, <clears throat> I mean, you know. God bless him, man. I'm, I'm glad they make guys like him because it was fun to watch. That, that, that can't end well. I, I Dude, I hope they gave him $10 million for that fight. Yep. I don't know what he got paid. I hope they five hundred. Well, I, I'm sure they gave him a bonus, uh, post bonus fight. Uh, undisclosed then. Yeah, he only, undis- he only that's what I'm saying. Undisclosed, yeah. the bonuses are way bigger. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm hoping they gave him whatever five, ten million, and Carlos too. Carlos should be set for life. Off I that agree fight. with you. Is that gonna happen? Probably not. That's what happens. Uh, the fights were good though. Khan is talking about retirement. Mm-hmm. I don't blame him. Well, I mean, I've been in the sure, game forever. Yeah, man. I'm sure he'd take another fight with you, I think you'd take a rematch, but if you say, ah, you're taking three steps down, he's going to be like, I'm fucking done with I this. I bet. To make another run, that's a beast, man. It gives you an idea how good GSP really was. Different. I, uh, it's different because, especially when GSP's fought, he, the athletes were different, the times were different, the competitors were different. He wrestled most of the time. He played very safe. Mm. The reason we enjoyed that fight more than really any GSP fight ever yeah. is because they went out on their shield. It's true. You can't say that for GSP. This is true. Like, I, I, I even said this out loud when we were watching. I went, Carlos should shoot right now. That's, not what, that's why we love Carlos. He's not going to shoot to win the round. 
when Robbie was exhausted, come forward, shoot right now, you win the round. He's going to sit there and strike with his back against the wall and go for glory. We love watching it. Wow. But my brain, shoot, shoot, shoot. And he won't. Nope. No wrestling. GSP is going to take that. Robbie, you're not going to get the, you're not going to get a great fight out of Robbie with right. GSP or, you know, or Robbie Carlos. Wasn't it fun? No. He rocked him that Technical one time. Technical. Yeah. Because yeah. Robbie can't go forward like that in GSP. He's going to get taken down over and over and over. And then we get a cautious Robbie. We don't want that. Yeah. Yeah. But Robbie, this fight, and then Roy McDonald, what the crazy. fuck? Probably two, you're talking hey, about, how about Johnny Hendricks, Robbie and Johnny Hendricks? That was a crazy fight. Yeah, but not like Rory and these guys. I mean, you're talking, this is nuts, man. I uh, I mean, you're talking about two of the, for sure, top five fights of all time. Robbie's both of them. He came out on top, both of them. Unbelievable. It's insane. As tough as it gets, man. And he used to fight at 85, right, Lawler? Uh, when he first started, in Strike Force, right? Yeah, wasn't yeah. the man, he, he fought he, Manhoff and yep. Jake Shields and all them. And Daly. I don't know if Shields was at seven at, at seventy or eighty five, but he's at both. I'm sure he did. Yeah, he was at eighty five. Yeah, yeah, both. Yeah, yeah man, Nuts. monster. Uh, Cowboys going up one seventy against Tim Means. Yep, it's interesting. It is. It's interesting. We'll I think I think Cowboy would do well there. One seventy is tough. Yeah, is the fifty the the cut to fifty five is really tough on him. Yeah, look at him at weighing. Yeah. He's a pretty big guy. Yeah. He's I would tall. imagine with he's, Carlos, he's that's tall. a big weight cut for Carlos, right? 70? Does he walk around? You 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 train with him. Does he walk around big? Uh, No. He's in shape. He's lean. He's a thin, lean dude. He is, yeah, huh? 70 is not that he, bad for him. In the uh, in the Embedded series, he was a pound below, or, or he was either a pound below or on weight when he woke up on weigh-in day. Yeah, so he didn't. He didn't even have. He didn't have to even no. cut wow. another pound. Wow, he's not. He's not a. He was he's, eating on weight. He's down. tall, but wow. he's very slender. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So he's got his his diet thing doesn't seem to change much at all. So he doesn't really seem to have to lose much weight, Jesus. if any at all. Great dude, man. Articulate. Firing the kid alumni. Yep. Had you both see the, of them. Uh, the the Duffy Poirier fight. I did. It's pretty dope. I like it. I missed that. Good fight. I I got there late. Who won? Uh, Poirier did. Poirier <laughs> picked him apart. Mm-hmm. Called it. Yeah, Poirier did pick him apart. How do we do on our calls? How do we do on our picks? Well, Tony Sims lost. We picked Tony Sims. We I called Brian Ortega by triangle. He won. Uh, I you picked Stipe. I picked Stipe, but I was rooting for Arlovsky. We didn't do a two men of Larkin pick. Who did you guys have? That that been I I probably would have took. Uh, I was taking two men off. Yeah, he's a monster. That was a boring fight. Yeah. I don't think it was boring. Oh man, I didn't think that was a good fight Dude, at kick all. Those leg kicks with those weird, that weird low those wheel. Le- kicks. Those kicks were yeah. fun. That fight was supposed to f- be a finish for sure with those styles. That, yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, this is gonna be a, just a parade of violence. Mm-hmm. And then we both picked Condit to win mm-hmm. by that's finish, right. but I mean, what, it's it's close fight. Lower. Yeah, yeah, close fight. Close fight. Crazy fight. Uh, let's go to current events. Right. Current events. Uh, Brian, I know your uh, your holiday shopping's done, yeah. but um, listen, man, I need to uh, send some stuff in the mail. You do? I do, and I'm short on time because we got our West Coast tour coming up. Do you? I don't know, man. Do you? What, do you do think you, you could send some stuff for me? To just run to the post office, stay in line for hours, and get it done like it's 1940. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I could. I could get in my car, drive, waste gas, and wait in line, and then go talk to the person at the window and get stamps and all that stuff. I'd or, appreciate it, man. Yeah. I mean, unless you have something faster. The thing is, I like to save time, so I go to stamps.com. Time is money. Yeah, because here's the thing. I, just, I have a computer and a printer, okay? And I can get official U.S. postage for any letter or package, okay? Uh, and then the mailman picks it up. So I really just have to go to my mailbox or just hand it to my mailman. That's wow, what it is. so yeah. easy. Yeah, you can do everything you do at the post office right at your desk. Why would you want to go to the post office? And by the way, it's at a fraction of the cost of one of those expensive postage meters. Okay, Stamps.com right now. Use our promo code FIGHTER for this special offer. A four-week trial plus a $110 bonus offer, including postage and a digital scale. Go to stamps.com. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in FIGHTER. Stamps.com, enter FIGHTER. I'm just going to start mailing stuff. There you go. It's so easy and there you free. Go. There you go. What do you got, Ev? All right. Well, first one, this is just fucking so weird. 
uh, a group to a group of guys who are being called uh, an armed militia uh, took over a an empty wildlife uh, refuge center in Oregon and are refusing to leave. Like they're, I'm not even. I, I can't even. Yeah, like, I saw completely this. Wrap my I didn't see it. What they're attempting to pull off here? They're they took over a federal building. It has something to do with where, where at. In Oregon, it okay. has something to do with ranching with ranchers. Yeah, so the federal, yeah, the federal government um, put two ranchers in jail for like five years uh, and declared that the lands that they were operating on were federal property, I believe. So they roll in like domestic terrorists, kind of, and took over this building. And they still haven't left. They have no hostages, so I don't know why they have guns. Well, the FBI, than... the FBI is trying to come up with a peaceful solution. Quote so they're unquote. protesting, basically. Yeah. They're protesting, but in a but very strange armed. way. But they're armed in a federal building. Yeah, they're that armed carries... and they took over a government building. Oh, they're yeah. fucked. That There's... carries a stiff penalty. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's a commitment. That What I was amazed by <clears throat> is that that many guys were willing to How many basically... It? Uh, it's a big group, and I was like, that's amazing that that many guys are willing to commit a crime that potentially could put them in jail for a long they, time. Like, you they, got kids, you got a job, you got everything else. Are they, do they have hostages or no? No, no, no hostages. No. So, no. They, so they, why they don't we just go in there and do work? They brought guns. Well, because they're all armed. It would be bad. There's a, a much better way. They're higher-ups politically. There's, you don't want to go in there and kill a bunch of people who not don't have hostages and just making a point and a stand. That would be very bad. That would because, look bad. Because what you're doing is basically, we want to get our building back and... It would be a very but bad But if they situation. have firearms and you go in there and they fire at you, they're going to get fucked up. Yeah, I don't know what the what the stipulation is on that, but at the end of the day, um, it's it's in the FBI and the government's uh, interest, thank God, to say, all right, guys, you know, there are ways to get them out. Like, shut the water off. <laughs> shut the water off? Yeah, don't let any food in there. I mean, there are ways people, come, I'm sure, you know. They brought it's, snacks. It sounds like they're literally trying it's, to it's just make a point. They're trying to make a point they feel very strongly about, well, and they're committed to. Yeah, they've said that they're, they're, they've are they they've put out some, like, videos or whatever, and they're like, yeah, we're willing to, like, if, we're, if they try to, if the government tries to remove us, like, we're ready to go out on our shields. Wow. Yeah, that's serious. They, they they must have a very strong point here. I and I and, I, and by the way, I might be on or, their side. Or, or I'm not on their side. Or they just don't have shit going on, and this is something for them to do. I don't know Sometimes about that. You I don't, think, I don't that think when you're bored, you take. You, I'm not saying bored. I'm not saying bored, but they might. They might be mad at our government for many of reasons, and this is one thing where oh, yeah, they, they hate them. Where they found a way to make but it this, about this. Like how many? Wrong. Can you look up how many? Because this sounds like um, it is a their their livelihood is at stake. This sounds like something's really going on here. And they're making a stand because they have no other choice. Because I don't know how you get that many ranchers and people that are basically citizens who haven't been in trouble before to do this. This how is many a people big is movement. It? It's 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 a lot. I can't remember exactly. So I I hate that the world like everything gets turned into a, I feel like gets turned into like a race thing these days. Is it all white boys? It's all it's all fucking redneck white boys. Of course. So the uh, the tr- like the t- the trending hashtags that have been going around on this are calling them a uh, y'all Qaeda or vanilla ISIS. That's pretty funny. Which are both pretty funny. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Brilliant. It, it just keeps coming back to this thing. And I, again, I hate to make everything a race deal these days, but if these were a bunch of black dudes that are armed black dudes that took over a federal building mm. hostages or not, are those guys dead right now already? Probably. Same thing for Muslims. If you pack them with Muslims, Take over federal building, no hostages, but armed. Yeah, those but guys are all dead, right? They're, they're fucked. Things they're probably wouldn't fucked. be going to. No, fuck. they're super fucked. Yeah, also, I don't know. man, when white people fight for stuff, yeah, man, for sure pick something else, maybe, huh? Like, what are you? What do you fight? Your life's on the line for what? Exactly? Well, I don't know what they're fighting. for. What so exactly? Do we know exactly why they're doing this? I'm not sure. White people protest for some bullshit, man. <laughs> it, we we really don't have much. To, you know, it's it, like it feels like we it's want something. our land back. How many yeah. guys? How many guys? Do we know? I'm trying to find a mega hard number on it, and I haven't found one yet. But is it like sixty? I don't think it's that many. Sixty? It's a shocking number. Is it sixty? It's a shocking. White number. people protest for random shit. Well, when you go into a federal building with guns, you're talking about a major. Like that could be considered like a black major people, crime. Black Lives Matter, Muslims. Obviously, it's a huge issue. Yeah, I think it's white just, people. It's like fast food. I think it's just armed trespassing at this point. I think that's what you would get as long as nobody's there. No, not not it, if because now it's business day, right? Yeah. Monday. Not if you. People can't come in. And no, have, it's and still guns. it's still armed trespassing. Not if you have guns. If you have guns, it's still armed trespassing. I think it's only if you're holding somebody against their will that now you're dealing with a capital crime. Oh no, I think yeah, it's right. capital crime because if the government's 
and our f- police forces are trying to get in, and you're keeping at bay with guns. I yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be a felony, my man. Oh, it's definitely a felony. Oh, don't get you. Oh don't, no, you're go- oh no, you're going you're going to jail. I mean, yeah, you're going to jail. I think. I mean, if it was over like Chipotle and fucking E. coli, I get it. What do we got? It's just the <laughs> the way the internet has just started mocking these guys is so fucking funny. They're gonna get roasted. Yeah. Like if you're, if, I'm just gonna read this tweet verbatim. If your master plan is to overthrow the world's most powerful government and you attack a remote bird sanctuary, you might be hashtag Yal Qaeda. <laughs> oh, okay. So they're yeah, right. They're so they're the inside. The wildlife refuge is in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah, they're, they're, they're literally everyone. There. They're in like no one a, noticed. <laughs> everyone's like, all they're right. They're like in a shed, and it's a, it, it's not like a big federal building like with. <laughs> a, I'm showing them a picture of Ralph Wiggum know, holding just, a gun that yeah. says, I'm a militia. Do we have a picture of the building? Let me see a picture of the building. I don't think it's a building. I think it might be just a big lodge or something. No way, it's a wildlife. In the middle of so, nowhere. So stupid. We're taking over the shed. You no one's a, coming in. The one employee's like, come on, man. I got work to do. I got some birds to paint. Yeah, I got Not birds. today, amigo. <laughs> USA. USA. Everybody, you, you ever see that, that video on YouTube where the guy tries to get when they killed the Bin Laden? Yeah. He's like, all right, guys. It's so fucking let's great. See, after, after me, it's a great day for America. USA. I can't no one joins them. I can't embarrass Not them. one person joins them. fucking loser. No, it wasn't after. Uh, uh, I thought when they killed Osama. No, no, no. It was like, it was way later. Oh, man. He was just doing it for something. I'm embarrassed. Come on, everybody. Have something. a little pride. USA. USA. And everyone's like, shut No, I do think up. it was after. It wasn't. No? Because they. They've done that and they actually joined because that makes sense. Yeah. This guy was just doing it over some bullshit. Man. And everyone's all. <clears throat> oh, that's embarrassing. What else you got, Ev? Good right. one. Hopefully not too much of that was factually inaccurate because I feel like we always we always hear about it. Anyway, next one. Uh, Facebook boss Mark Zuckerberg is designing a robot babysitter to look after his infant daughter. That's awesome. Or a terrible idea that's going to end in your daughter being thrown in a fireplace. A robot yeah. babysitter. You're going to have to that's make a couple cuddling. of samples before. I wonder what that does to a kid emotionally. Uh, what was it like to have a – who was your nanny? A machine. A machine uh, used well, to uh, – unless – you ever seen nanny the Jetsons? You ever seen the Jetsons? Yeah. Worked out for them. Still, his mouth doesn't move, though, does it? It's oh, I get it. Dude, it's Mark Zuckerberg. It's still a robot. It might be dope. It could be the kid's best friend. Unless it's got one of those voices from England, like Siri or something. Yeah, that can't be good for the kid, though. No, I don't think so. The kid's going to grow up a sociopath. It's not very... A psycho. Yeah, not very warm and cuddly. A robot babysitter. Nah. I guess you could have a robot babysitter? If it was legit as fuck, I like need to go to the movies or something, or like something cool, like I need a half an hour... Bring out Bart the robot. He's all, ur, ur. that'd be sick. He protects. He emits a, a, a sleeping gas when the kid needs to go to sleep. Or it makes, <laughs> that'd be sick. <laughs> Changes diapers? What? Yeah. yeah. That'd be sick, That's man. not traumatizing for a child. If that's all they know. Wipe your butt, sink, sink, sink. If yeah. that's all they know. Yeah, well, that, 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 human beings aren't meant to engage with machines when they're infants. You know, if you don't touch a baby... Um, you know, if you have a baby yeah, right, that's been abandoned, if you don't touch that baby, if you have it in the hospital, they used to have the babies just sit in the crib, they'll die. It's called failure to thrive. So they hire people in hospitals to come around and hold babies. If you don't hold a baby for, you know, a, sign- a, a, a portion of time, it, dies? it will die. You can, it's the worst thing you can do is leave a baby there for a day and not touch it. It's very bad what for What kind it. of shitty parents? You do it long enough, they, it's called failure to thrive. They don't have human to human contact. They will literally, even if you feed them, even if you give them water. Aren't you supposed to get, put the baby music, right on the mom's chest as soon you, you, as it comes they out? They want to be touched and held. If you don't mom's touch chest, and hold the baby, chest. they will die. And that's a classic example. That, you know, human beings, I, I say this a lot, you know, accomplishment is great. Um, yes, I'm friends with Taylor Swift. Yes, I'm friends with very famous people. Here's, here's the bottom she line. She doesn't know you at all. Uh, yes, the Prince Harry and I have a, a timeshare castle. Guarantee he's not funny either. Yes, all those guys are great you know, great friends. Uh, great guy, by the way. A uh, friend of mine, don't, talk about, don't ever talk about my friends badly that way, especially when they have red hair. But at the end of the day. Hashtag worst opening of Fire and Kid Alta. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Uh, well, I fucking. I was embarrassed for you. You know what I should have hey, said? I was embarrassed for you. Well, I was no, no, to, no, don't, don't keep going with your no, point. No, I was oh, trying to say, I, was man, trying to say I, missed, I missed making a thing for my daughter. But no, anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, but I human think connection at the is end of the day, all I give a shit about now is human connection and money. I want good relationships, bro. Everything else is good, but I want 
like great friends. Like the other night with with the Grillos, just hanging out with Frank. The best, the best, just laughing and hanging out. Come on, it's too fun. What else you got, Ev? I'm down for a robot nanny. All right, last one. This happened on Saturday. Mexico doing Mexico things. The uh, Mexican mayor got shot to death, death less than one day after taking office by the cartel. Damn well, it. That's so fucked up. That's how it goes down there. Would you, is under any circumstances, take a political position in Mexico? Well, for sure. It sh- seems like instant death. Oh, man. Well, people do take it. The question, you know, th- there's well, so someone much, has to do it. Yeah. There's so much ingrained corruption and also like the reason there aren't a lot of new businesses in mexico is because there are such huge monopolies and they are so in line with the government and the government has a vested financial interest in allowing things to be the way they are that's why so few people own so much in mexico and the country basically doesn't that so many of the people the population at large doesn't have any money and you have essentially what's called an oligarchy you have either a, way. You know, I'm not running for fucking a uh, political office there, in, unless I'm unless I have the cartel in my pocket and they're not going to blow my face off. Well, because they're usually ingrained too. But then if you're like, oh, I'm the one guy, you make a difference, eh, dead. There one are day. there are, but there are and there is a war going on between you know elements of the government and the military and these cartels for sure. You know? And so that's their huge issue. Yeah. And and uh, I don't the know. Drug man. war is thriving. Uh, my my feeling my feeling is that as long as their neighbor, the United States, is willing to pay that much for their product, I think it's a losing proposition. And there's a lot of talk in Mexico after they buried, I think it was last year, fifty five thousand civilians or people who were just caught up in the war. It's a lot. Um, and they were there's a lot of talk. About, hey, you know, I wonder, should we just make it legal? Should we make it legal and give it and just, you know, figure out a way to We're get it? We're definitely not this? winning the drug war. No one's winning the drug right. war. There's because, no winning. Because people like their cocaina and especially. God, cocaina must be just killing. I don't see it Weed, very often. Blow. But it must be everywhere. Weed is legal. But so they're making their farmers. They're. they're, they're their business took a huge hit when weed was legal. True, but they're... they're That's they're, why meth, they're pushing meth and all heroin and all this stuff. But they're also cashing on that because they come into certain towns and they make the farmers that were growing other things, they make them grow weed now. They make them grow marijuana. It's and tougher, they though. They're, they're making way more money on meth, methamphetamines, cocaine, yeah, all that stuff. I don't know. Weed's a different animal now. Yeah. Yeah. But either way, man, I, I don't know. Either way, not run for political thing. office in Mexico. Terrible idea. Nope. Women... Man, doesn't matter. You're getting killed. Yep. Bad it's idea. Up. It's so fucked up. Bad idea. Is that it, Ev? That's current events for you. Boo yeah. Uh Brian, you're so smart, man. It's crazy. You yeah. must be getting a good night's rest. <laughs> Brennan, I sleep in what essentially feels like clouds. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I sleep in probably the finest cotton. Uh, sheets made and it's well uh, I know this I know that former presidents of the United States sleep in these sheets yeah. so when I found that out I was like huh if a president likes it I think it's just look, the sheets for me I look I'm not into presidents celebrities I don't care what those people you know of course I'm friends with lots of celebrities yeah, as man. you know Brennan, but, tell some but the, cool at the story. end of the day Brennan it's you spend probably more time with your bed sheets. Think about this than almost anything else. How much time do you spend with your bed sheets? I okay. sleep on the ground in the cold. You, but well, then why? Well, yeah, because you're a Spartan. But for yes. most people, why would you want to skimp on your bedding? Huh? Does it make any sense? Wouldn't you rather have something like Bowl and Branch? B O L L and Branch. Okay, they make the sheets affordable because they cut out the middleman. It's organic cotton. You go right to bowlandbranch.com, okay? Why do you want to spend... And by the way, do you know that Egyptian cotton is essentially... Uh, a is gimmick? It, it's a gimmick. It's a, it's a I plant, knew it! It's a plant that grows in Pakistan. Not and, a G- not and Egypt. And not in Egypt, yeah. Um, I almost said not an Egyptian. Yeah, yeah. It's all it's all quality. Uh, the most comfortable sheets. They're the most comfortable sheets in the world. Three U.S. presidents sleep in Bowling Branch, uh, and they cut out the middlemen, department store markups. None of that you have to worry about, um, essentially. And some of these guys, they mark it up up to eight hundred percent. Yeah, they believe in sh- they believe in their sheets so much, they will s- guarantee them. 
Well, oh, you'll you'll sleep in him risk free for thirty nights. Mm-hmm. Sleep in him for thirty nights. If you don't like him, send him back. Gets even better if you order right now. They'll give you fifty dollars off a set of sheets plus free shipping. Just go to bullandbranch dot com. B O L L and Branch dot com and use the promo code Fighter. All right, I sleep fifty dollars. I sleep in him every night, Brian Callen. Bullandbranch dot com. Promo code Fighter. Mm. Uh, Callen, drop some knowledge on us. Well, <clears throat> so. It's an interesting discussion because I told you I was going to tell you about CRISPR. Um, CRISPR? Yeah. Um, CRISPR is an, is an acronym for something that's way too long to when talk about. When did you about. tell us that? Uh, well, I, I, I was mentioning, remember I was talking about how microbiologists are essentially talking about nothing but CRISPR, where they say basically, I can take a chihuahua and turn it into a Great Dane. People are like, what? Yeah. Um, so essentially... In 10 years, according to the scientists like Jennifer Doudna, who co-invented this this technology, you're going to be able to manipulate human genes to the point where you can do them in the embryo, but you can probably do them even later on in life. But certainly in the embryo, listen to this, where you'll be able to, if a kid comes from short parents, uh, if a kid comes from, ready? Red here. Black parents. White. Parents. You can make them white, dude. Black to white. Listen to white me. to black. That is what we're dealing with. My with brother CRISPR. was made himself black. That's what we're dealing with with CRISPR. I swear to God, you can literally change the genetics of somebody for the rest. And those genetics that you do to your child, like if you say, "My kid, I come from short stock. I want my kid to be six foot four, six five. Not only can you manipulate that, but your kids' kids will now be six foot four, six foot five. That's kind of lame. Well, this is the thing. So the way they do it is they essentially found out that bacteria is always being attacked by virus. You're always being hit by viruses. And bacteria will then, when, so you know how when you get a cold, you develop immunity to that cold, you can't get it yeah. again? The reason for that is that because your DNA, when the virus hits your, your body, your body creates a essentially vaccine, a right? snapshot of what yeah. that looks like. When the virus comes back in they, Not up they, in here. they give it to these molecular assassins they say here's a picture of what it looks like the molecular assassin kills that virus because it recognizes yeah. it so this is bad now what they're doing it. is cutting out they're cutting out the virus because you have all of these viruses this memory of these viruses in all your dna they cut the virus out and being very elementary cut the virus out and put a gene in there they'll take your immune cells and they'll change them to attack a cancer They'll put the picture of that particular yeah. cancer so that so these molecular cells go out. But you can also do that with a gene. So if you have a gene, you have one errant gene that causes hemophilia or causes sickle cell anemia. What about Down syndrome? You can, uh, yes. Really? Yes. We're going to erase all that. It's crazy. And it, by the way, it's it, you know people are always cautious about this. You're hearing these scientists talk about the fact that in 10 years, this technology is going to be used in adults where you're going to be able to change your skeletal and muscular system. It's out you of control. You can't wait to get bigger. Not only that. Oh, dude. Not only You're that. You're going to be the first one in line. You're going to be, be black and Full jacked. head of hair. Black, <laughs> black and dre- jacked. Callan's going to be black, dreads, and jacked. CRISPR. It's called CRISPR-Cas9. It is truly... Is it a, a membership re- it's or a what? Rev- Online? How about this? It's not like it's a revolutionary new um, um, technology. They think it's going to be so cheap to use because it's so it's it's going to be seventy five dollars, a hundred dollars. It's it's. But it's just going to be everyone's going to be whatever color they want. Yeah, but so Chris Jennifer Dudna and all the scientists working on this, and they they just try to do it with human embryos in China, and apparently they weren't viable embryos, but apparently it actually worked in some of the cases. The bottom line is. Jennifer Downer said, I want to call for a global pause, for a pause in this technology. Because if we start doing this with human beings, we better know what we're getting into. Because it gets even worse. I knew because LeBron James wasn't real. I was going to say, as they're able to, as they're able, you're going to have parents who say, I want those genes. I want, to, I, want to, I want my kid to be a genetic freak. But what are we going to do? That sucks, man. Well, then, then everyone's created equal, and then that's, sports going to be lame. That's the question. It's going to be like Space Jam with those big monsters. Well, this is the question. So much of what we do in our life is in compensation. You and I talk about it all the time. You're trying to fill a void, fill a hole. I've always wanted to be a big guy. Everything. I've always wanted to be a big, strong guy. How do I compensate? With comedy. Thank God I'm 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 170 pounds. So I don't even know. I, I think back. I think about all the things I wanted to be, and everything that makes me who I am that people like me for is exactly because I'm not that. Oh, well, there's gonna be no. There's gonna be no personalities. I mean, no. No one's gonna have any character. Everyone's gonna be. Fucking whatever color they want to be, 
Now, can I go from being a Chinese guy, like I want to be a fat sumo guy for a year, into a small, skinny black guy? Look, that is where we're headed. Let's just put it that way. That's where we're headed. That's that's. But more, I, I'll, I'll it, get even weirder. I, I think I think what they should do is keep that that technology under wraps and solve like you know Down syndrome and people. With that's horrible that's cancers. that's what they are. That's doing. cool. But you can't release it to the masses, and then all of a sudden we got six billion white people. Well, here's the here's the thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna get even weirder on you. Or black. I'm gonna get people. even weirder. Could be six on billion you. black. As people. they cross pollinate DNA, as they reconstruct DNA, as they take. DNA they find from dinosaurs that's been caught in amber sap and things like that. You're about to tell they me they're can, making unicorns? Dude, as they can reconstruct, listen to this, as they can reconstruct DNA and then manipulate it genetically in a Petri dish, here's, the, here, here's where it goes. You're about to drop Jurassic Park. Here's where it goes, bro. You can essentially, the theory would be, create any creature your mind could come up with. There you go. Unicorn, now, what the Jurassic fuck Park, does that Godzilla. say? Yeah. Well, there's the new ISIS. Whether they get a hold of this, they release a giant Godzilla on the United States. Yeah. See, That's the, problem the new is, war of terrors. Well, when these things come out. And then we out, come up with our own dinosaurs. The Chinese are already doing it. When these And some countries don't have the same ethical concerns. No, they're going to release a flock of pterodactyls. Whatever they release. It's, it's creating. But here's this the most is important trouble, thing. Man. It's not only trouble. Hey, it's also you're scaring me. I know. And it's not only doing that. It's throwing into question everything, everything we know to be true. We are now in a position, ready, to control our own evolution. Nah, that's not good. It's crazy. Now you're messing with God, brother. I don't know, it's, but you know what? I mean, if you give me a pill and make me live to two hundred, I'm gonna take that it, thing. It was, I'm gonna jack that thing in my ass so fast. It was put here for a reason. If you live to two hundred, how are you gonna use that time? Think about it. Are you gonna podcast the whole time? Yeah. When do things get old? When do things get old? Uh, when does the mystery of things break down? When? When, when do you? If I I'm two hundred, this podcast is gonna slowly turn into the fucking. We're slowly going to turn into this history channel. You right. And I just become these old tortoise looking geezers. Just barnacles. 200. And just dropping. No, the, the whole show is dropping knowledge. But yeah. you go, I go. You, we're yeah. just smart as Smart as fuck. With zero listeners. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll have chips in our head that, that have access to all the information immediately. So when you can so download people all the information. So then people want to listen to us. So we, this is what we're going to do, bro. Here's the marketing plan. Mm. We don't take any of those pills. We keep the personality while these robots just listen to us because we're different. Because we want to be antique. We're zebras. That's like we like we like our coffee hand ground. You exactly. want to get back to old stuff. We're zebras. And you come in here and there's no technology. We got the old VHS player. Yeah. Kay's still fucking K. Yeah. Evan Chain, she's a giant black guy producer now. I always wonder these questions. Like Not only that, when you can download information in the human brain in 30 years, 40 years, when you can download information, I can download all the books. I don't know where we go from there. I don't know what human effort means anymore. Well, no one, ha no one's gonna have. There's gonna be no individuals. It's all gonna. We're all gonna be smart. We're all gonna know the exact same stuff. We're all gonna have the same. Struggles. So what does that mean? It creates a neural net, right? It's it creates not good, a, man. But, it, but, but maybe it creates. Maybe it creates a sort of universal consciousness. Level playing field. It Everyone's creates, well, together. Well, it creates a universal consciousness, so we all know what it's like to be each other. So you can have virtual experiences of what it's like to be somebody. Else. You have to have hate in the world, do you? Yeah. Is it? But yeah, are we there has headed, to be good and bad. Aren't we being? Aren't we with this technology being nudged toward each other? I feel like we're being nudged into one collective consciousness. You don't think some terrorists can get that and try and make everyone freaking Arabic? I'm sure whatever they'll do, they'll do. But remember, there's a there's a there's also countervailing forces that are very very powerful. There's always gonna be good and bad. Yeah. No matter with this technology or whatever. Yeah. So many. It'd be, uh, the thing I would download right away, and the only thing I would download besides a few other things, but I would download different languages. I'd, I'd want to speak sure. every language. Well, that there you go, and that's what we're gonna do. But here's here's the other thing, like we in a way, like they were talking about how beauty, uh, whether it's music or uh, our movies or stories and things like that. Yeah, there's beauty in everything. Uh, and decorations and art. Um, Shakespeare is translated into literally every language, every yeah. major language in the world. Beauty and art on that level um, is so easily passed on to other cultures, even as alien as they are. So the Japanese love Shakespeare. They do a lot of productions in Shakespeare, very different. And it's interesting how already art is something that is already sort of a common language. Art. And American movies go everywhere. 
<clears throat> art and all that stuff is going <clears throat> to go out the window because a lot art and comedy and performing a lot of times comes from pain and having you know not having what you want stuff like that so if we're all the exact same everyone's rich everything's all good right you're gonna get shitty movies you get horrible art you, there's gonna right, be no so much of, so much art is about what? longing i don't yes. know if you guys know i'm a friend i'm friends with taylor swift yes and i watched her sing last night yes no but at the end of the day you're right dude like 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 if everyone can sing all right there goes itunes there goes everything Bieber, fuck Bieber. I'm gonna sing in my hallway. These are the questions. We all sing. These are the great. These are. This is what's going on. It's not good. It's good as far as it's sure helping as the suffering. Yeah. But it's bad as far as. It's very different, the isn't wrong it? Hands and it's very different. What's it say about imagination? You saw how long we spent sitting there trying to come up with funny ideas. <sighs> I do think there'll always be a place for imagination, right? I disagree. That's all out the window. Imagination comes from curiosity and experience. But it's also if I grow up, LeBron James. Go tell me how creative LeBron James is. Mm -hmm. If you grow up with a silver spoon in your mouth, go, you know what I'm saying? Go tell me how creative Kim Kardashian is. What? Yeah. Like it comes from this place that you, there's no formula for it. Ronda Rousey, I know it's a, we try not to talk about it. The re, what makes Ronda so good, and this is horrible to say, but this does happen, is her having a mom who's a world champion who fucking made her train like a world champion since she was two and the passing of her father her father committed suicide yeah. that void turned into greatness yeah it turned this all this pressure turned all into that a, pain turned into a diamond yeah. uh great uh musicians it comes from this pain yeah you get rid of all that we're all fucked <coughs> longing hunger longing all those things drive everything yeah it's all filling a void. i agree with you man i agree with you i think human beings when when human beings compensate or have to mask or distract themselves. How many from comedians the pain? hate themselves? How many actors hate themselves? All How many them. athletes hate what they hate themselves? All of them, bro. Ton of them. That's why they get great. I know. Because they're trying to fill this void. I know. They're driven by what? How many athletes come from really wealthy, comfortable circumstances? Not, Not many. a lot. Fucking Not a lot. McCaffrey's son. It's interesting. Well, it. there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Good drop of knowledge, Not son. Bad, right? Proud Not of you, bad. man. Thank you, buddy. Uh, God, I'll tell you what. I could use a glass of wine after that. Well, dude. <laughs> You know what? You could go to the store, but you know, I don't know if you, you know, know what the thing is though. Be it's like we get done with the show and we've had a long day. We had meetings before this, and I just want to sip on a glass of wine and relax. But I never plan ahead, man. And it's like well, you don't know what, what to get. You well, when I'm at wines. the grocery store, there's so many wines. I'm like, what the? F what am I gonna get here? I know. I don't know my wines. I'm not Brian Callen. I just don't know what to do. But even if it's Brian overwhelming. Callen, even if you are Brian Callen, sometimes it gets overwhelming because. You're looking at all the bottles. You don't know what to choose. And also going to the store is a pain. We live in the age of the internet. Bro, Why wouldn't you have wine sent to you? I, I know how you're talking about, you know, how the, there's this new scientific, you know, technology that we're going to be able to switch things out. I mean, I would settle for a company that like a, a company that would send me wine, but I don't know wine. So it gave me like a survey of things I like, my taste buds, and it sends me that wine for a really good price. Oh, you mean clump? I mean, I don't want to change anything physically about myself i just want the technology of a wine company to send wine wait, to my wait. house so you're saying you want a website where you can go and take a quiz on what kind of wine you like that and they pair it up with the kind of food you like they have an algorithm and then they send you they send you wines and there's no there's no middleman so you're 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 paying i don't know between 13 dollars to 26 dollars for their top top fight wine brilliant brian you're talking about club w club ladies and gentlemen and if you're like me and you don't know shiz not about wine they give you six questions a little six question quiz Took that it. figures out Took your it. palate your little palate so every bottle you receive is tailored to your taste yep. so you can get this wine and now you're in wine you're like you know what I know what I like based mm -hmm. off my palate it's mm -hmm. pretty dope mm -hmm. Club W even offers a no risk guarantee you'll love what they send you or guess what it's all good baby they're going to take care of you right now Club W is offering Fire the Kid listeners, 50% off your first order when you go to clubw.com slash fighter. Again, that's club, clubw.com slash fighter. They have don't, videos too. Don't ever, don't ever come home. Don't ever come home to a wine-free house again. Not never. Not never. Life is too short not to drink some good wine. Go to clubw.com slash fighter right now. 50% off your first order. That's clubw.com slash fighter 
Get your wine on. Get your wine on. Won't break your bank. Don't be a meathead sipping beers with your boys. Have some ladies over. Pop some bottles of there champagne. Some wine. Fan questions. Fan questions. Sub W. All right. First fan question. If there was a fighter in the kid movie and you couldn't play your own parts, who would you have play your roles? Jason Bateman. He's a friend See, of mine. I think Frank Rilla should play you. Frank is just too he's good too looking, looking and he's too muscular. I just am not Frank Rilla. Yeah, Jason, I, you know what? I have a little bit of crush on Frank Rilla. How could you not? I left there and I'm like, you know what? I like that how guy. How could you not? I came in. I said, sir, that's a mighty fine coat. He was wearing a Giorgio Armani coat. Yeah. I mean, it was a he, very he nice coat. He dresses well. He does dress well. Nice set of hair on him. Uh, who would play me? I, I, I would have I would have The Rock play you and I'd have Jason Bateman play me. That makes sense. I had a long talk with, with Jason Bateman about uh, acting and how he's never satisfied. I said, I'm never satisfied with my stand-up. I can't watch. He goes, I can't watch my stuff either. Yeah. So no matter how successful you are, guys, remember, you're never satisfied. And never forget Brian hangs out with famous people. Don't ever forget that. Yeah, don't ever. forget that, guys. Ever. Remember. What, I'm just dropping. I'm not even dropping names. just Jason. Uh, J, 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 JB. JB. Yeah. That's a huge name. All right, what else you got? Not a huge name. I don't know if I right. go thrown around Jason Bateman. It's so like funny. Him. I go. I go to him. I go. Do you have a, like? Do you live just live like you don't have like a, a gated community? Don't you get worried about? And he goes, bro. I'm just a working actor. I he's go, not. But like, you're not really. I go. You star in movies. He goes, no. I'm just a guy who shows up and I do my work. He's go, not like Tom you're, Hanks. You're being, yeah, but I'm like you're still starring in movies. It's got to be somebody out there. I don't know. I'd be not worried. like Tom Hanks. Uh, you know they said I was going to be the next Tom Hanks, right? We've been through this. I right know. What right, else dude. you got, Ev? You can uh, you can decide how into this you actually want to get, but question is: You tweeted that the more you looked into the Stephen Avery making a murderer case, the less you think he's innocent. Care to elaborate? Can we no, do that with I, Brian in the room? I can't say anything because Brian Callen's way behind, and then I'll I'm sure we'll get some tomorrow. tweets that will uh, like, dude, it's a spoiler. Uh, I freaked so out. So we'll save it. All right, we'll save it for we'll another episode. It. I'll have Jay Shaw release it for you guys. He has all the fucking document. Documents. It's weird. He thinks he's a lawyer now. By Interesting way. guy. Jay Shop thinks he's a lawyer. Hey, uh, Shark Eyes Doll Smile will be on us with us during the West Coast trip. Yep. He's our uh, tour manager, and he also slangs them shirts. Slangs them shirts. So if you guys want shirts, hit up Jay. Shark Shaw. Eyes Doll Smile. He's a favorite boy. Yeah, yeah. All right. This is a good one. I like this one. What is the dumbest thing you ever saw a January resolution or do in a public gym? I don't know. A January, you know, I I don't know. I just am amazed at some guys when they make noise before they they lift weights. And then they go. That's where it's weird when the guys in like a full like matching get up like spandex yes. shorts. It's all like lime green Under Armour with matching shoes. There was a couple of gold bands. Like, yes. Jesus Christ, man! How long does it take you to get ready? Wristbands. If you wear wristbands and you're not a tennis player in the seventies. You might want to just yeah, go away. Unless your away. name's Pete Sampras. Don't come to the I was gym with say, bands. That, I, that, I, There was a couple in goals. Maybe they're still there. I haven't worked out there many years in Venice. And they would show up. I'm not exaggerating. Both of them in wrestling singlets. And they would power lift. And they were not muscular. And they were not very big. They had good technique. But they would both power lift. Yeah, together. there's those same guys who wear uh, the real flat shoes or like the, the Olympic lifting shoes to golds or to wherever. Yeah. Hey, man, you got a competition coming up? Yeah. What are you doing? People take that shit super serious. I respect it. I'm a meathead myself. I got my meathead on these past days. I really haven't seen too much bullshit. You know, I mean, you know, the typical dudes, you know, how they are just dumbasses in the gym. I just think it's weird, man. Everyone waits till the same day, the exact same day to set all these goals. What the fuck you been doing the rest of the year? Why wait? It's true. Keep going, Ev. All right. So I got my lady pregnant and then got engaged a few months later. She's due in June. Any advice on breaking it to her giant, black, retired military father? By the way, I'm a white boy from Cincinnati. Oh, I like it. Uh, do what Brian would do. When you get around black people, make sure you go, Ah, oh, what's up, dog? Ah, oh, this is crazy. This is crazy, dog. I got your daughter pregnant. What? What? Do that. <clears throat> Actually, for sure don't do See that. See how that goes, how Look that right. turns out. Ah, oh, shit, man. Yo, man, I'm, uh, do you like Taylor Swift? 
<laughs> you cannot stop dropping her name. I mean, you will not give it up. Jason Bateman. Yeah, see, that's not a good one to drop, though, man. If you're going to be a name dropper, you got to go like some big dogs. I was dropping any names. I was just trying to tell a story. But you got to yeah. drop some big dogs, though. Yeah. You were earlier. Uh, I Let me read this email that this guy gave us. I think you guys are going to dig it. This is a fan question. Should I mix it up on you if we never do All this? Good, man. But this guy's been emailing us several times. Uh, I won't give his name out because he probably doesn't want it out. But uh, he goes, I got a situation with my girlfriend. This is interesting, B. It's going to be this one. I read this. I like it. Uh, We've been going strong for a little over a year. We're both 26. Uh, Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, a guy she knew from school who also did some real cheap plumbing work for her a while ago. That's not code for anything dirty. Literally a plumber that came to her house has has messaged her and asked her out of the blue, asked her to catch up for lunch. Uh, I asked if there was a history. She said he made a move and nothing really happened. They weren't dating, but she went out with him, but nothing happened. She wouldn't say how far they went. Um, and then he just said, well, um, you know, it's a little weird. This guy wants to meet up because, um, you know, you won't let me have any girlfriends. It's weird. And she said, well, I just want some more male friends. You have some female friends. Why can't I? So he said, uh, in my experience, single straight guys really don't have female friends. What are your thoughts on this? And do you have many straight female friends that you seriously haven't considered hitting on? Let me fucking Brian Callen. Let me tell you fucking something right now, okay? Here, and I'm not even that jealous of a guy. This is from our boy Matt. This is me, ready? This is me, and my girl says that. I I go like this, I go, awesome. You want to have lunch with them? Good. You go have lunch with them, and I'll see you later. I'll see you later. How's that sound? I don't want to fucking hear that you want to make friends with them. Oh, and by the way, don't believe you didn't fuck them. I 100% think you fucked them. And by the way, if you think he doesn't want to bang, you if you think that he's doing this guys are not interested in catching up with a girl catch these nuts in your mouth yeah you're me catch i want to i want to bang you gave me a reason to have lunch with you and i'm gonna lay some groundwork and there's nothing innocent about that yeah and i don't give a fuck what anybody says you you want to be friends do you need another friend bro that guy's moving in on your girl i don't blame him he's just being a guy but at the end of the day if she goes to lunch with him go ahead see ya. i'll see you later and, yeah real quick this, this is a uh, a little um uh, disclaimer for everyone out there uh, No guy Wants to be friends With a girl And just be friends Correct Hey listen ladies And guys If your girl's friends With other guys She's fucking them So listen No guy Wants to have a friend Who's a girl And just keep it as friends Ridiculous Any girl I Unless have Who so is gay. a friend Is he gay Is he very gay Is he a very gay plumber Other than that Nah uh, Unless he's just Flaming gay yeah. And your girl wants to go Talk about whatever With him By God Yeah go no do problem it. Other than that I promise you He has yeah. other motives Of course And if for girls To think other Anything else Is crazy And I love this Well he made a move But nothing happened Mm, not true Especially mm. if he's good looking yeah. My man yeah. And he also has balls because uh, I, Sounds like he has an ego too Because if he knows She has a boyfriend Dude And he still asks her out Because you if, if What I'm did da- she do if, To give him the impression She wanted she'd have lunch Well first too. of all If I'm dating a girl And another dude asks her out And he knows I'm dating her Well that's super disrespectful Yeah I agree with you We know something's up Yeah I Unless agree. he's just a big old Player in the game Listen go ahead You want to do it Go ahead You want to have lunch with him Oh it's go over ahead. Just know, know Know that you're With me just, it's all good. Go do that. You can go date him, and I'll see you later it's right now. It's all good. Goodbye. Just, just understand, when from now on, when I say I'm going to Starbucks to get a deep roast, I'm talking about deep roasting someone's asshole. I'm getting a deep and roast. And I'm not talking about the guy making the yeah. coffee. Yeah. Again. When I say give me a cake pop, yep. I'm talking about getting my dick sucked. Yep. Again, if you want to do it, all power to you. We'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make sense. Got riled up. I was, I was trying to think of any girls in my life who are friends. I have two. K, I have K, and Jen Brown. That's right. The only two girls in my life I've never, ever thought that would never done anything. For me, it's ever. Taylor Swift and Courtney Cox, and that's it. See, that's the that's, only friends that's I the have. Difference. Those are my that's, new friends. There you go. And we're very close. And you know, sure. I was I, trying to think about it. Yeah. But like the other day, I don't have any. The other day, uh, not the other day, a while ago, this girl texts me. She's friends. My friend goes, "Hey, do you want to go on a hike?" Well, by hike, I mean, what do you mean hike? You want to stick your finger in the I put, cage? I put hike in quotation. Hikes? Yeah. Devil ears. Right. Hike? Yeah. She's like, huh? As in bang on a rock? Hey, man, I'm not, you mean 
don't wear underwear? I ain't a nice guy. Do you mean sandals, yeah. no yeah. underwear? Don't stick your finger in the cage and tell me. I'm not, I'm not, guess what I'm not? I always say, I always say to girls, I go, hey, I'm not the guy who's in friend space. I'm not that guy. Oh, I'm a no. dirt bag. Oh, and no. I'm always looking for an angle. And if you give me a small opening, I think I'm going to fuck you. I think with I'm my I'm going to bang you right now. Oh, you, you know and that? by the way, at 48, I'm still that way. Yeah, I mean, you're I'm worse than me. But you know, yeah, yeah, I mean, we, in other we're words, both good guys. I'm saying I'm a good guy. But, but the I, thing is, but I'm saying I resent that a woman. Now that you're married, you're safe and all that shit. But I still resent it. Don't act like I'm fucking. You're a still nice not guy. safe. I'm not Cal a nice is guy. like that pit bull on Nine News. Don't get your face close don't to get him. Your face and by too face, <laughs> I mean don't get your face close to his <laughs> ear. <laughs> don't get your face too close. No, what are you he's doing? still a pit bull. Yeah, what the fuck? We're just cage pit bulls. I'm now. holding on. I'm holding but on. But you bring a set of tits around me, I'm gonna go cock crazy. Don't be all kissy on my nosy. No, <laughs> my nose. I mean dick. <laughs> Don't be all kissy towards the nose. I'm not adoptable. Don't try to adopt me. No. Fucking, you better euthanize me right now. Oh, oh, really? You want to make friends with a 6'4", 250-pound guy? Ah, bad idea. I'm a pro athlete. Uh, well, not really, not anymore. But either way, still have the brain of one. It's not fun. I'm, I'm right with you. You have better, you have better chance to mess in a great white shark or a zebra. That's right. But to be friends with Brian Cowan myself, and for this guy, I think his name was Matt out there, buddy. Yeah. Your girl is... Sucking dick. All right. Well, there it is, uh, ladies and gentlemen. By the time you guys listen to this, I'm sure the uh, the we we'll call it, we call them the rich shirts that have a famous duck on them. Uh, the the shirts will probably be sold out, but if yep. not, tfatk.com. They're up there. Uh, they went live on Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific. So we'll any, be wearing anyone who got them. Congratulations. We are never making them again, and they're the best ones we've ever done. There's a reason for it. Limited edition, and. Uh, the Fire and the Kid Tour, most cities are sold out. Some are not. Some release more tickets. I'm not sure which ones. Go check right now. Go to tfatk.com. The tour starts, when you guys listen to this, one day from now. So the tickets will sell out instantly the day of, I'm sure. Right. Go and to tfatk.com right now. Click on West Coast Tour. See if there's tickets available in your city. Again, when I say yo city, I mean San Francisco, Sacramento, Seattle, Portland, Vegas, Los Angeles, San Diego. If I'm wearing some sweet looking jeans, if I'm wearing jeans that seem to, you know, yeah. you you do have great jeans. I got some. But beautiful that's jeans. not the point. I'm gonna be wearing T-fat-k. some elastic K. jeans. Com. I can move in. Is what I'm saying. Tfatk.com. Some- and at the live show, we will be selling the uh, Fire and the Kid Metallica type tee for the West Coast tour. It's my favorite tee, the vintage rock Metallica. and roll tee. Metallica. Oh yeah. Tfatk.com West Coast tour. It's happening, pal. It's here. Can't wait to see all you guys. This is the Fire of the Kid. We out.